No, I hate it. No, Ouchie, miss, you're wrong. It's canceled. No, miss. Now we're live. All right, but where's the now hair? Are we live? live? Who is where, We are live. live we are in fact live. I right, came here because I was must inject tabletop. <laughs> I think we're live. Are hey, we live? We're live. Wanna, Calm down, wanna you. Want to fuck with stream latency? Tell me if you see shit like moving, at least kind of smoothly. Yeah, it's moving. Feel Stop right. hiding behind your armored you're fellow. Good. Moving, you're good. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, so we're we're going. Yes, mm -hmm. we are live. I we're good we're to going. go. Do your opening spiel. Alrighty, uh, yours, yours. Long before any of the players existed, a a herd of continents slammed into each other, creating the massive continent itself. One piece broke off and became a unfounded or an un. Uh, oh, of course, the dogs want to start freaking out now. Uh, one of the places broke off and became a uninhabited area, which later became Shiverspar, but we'll talk about that in a second. This entire land it was then, uh, one day humans appeared, started inhabiting the lands, and they started taking in their own empires. Starting, of course, with Titan, which was the global ruler of everything, until a dragon touched down and created Alisteria and invented magic. To the far off, a wall was built, sealing away an entire city of people. And to the far off, after a few hundred years, they broke off. They used to be Titan slaves. They became Hull. This, be this happened when Imperium started to found itself in between all of them. They it came from nowhere. No one knows what, it, what exactly Imperium is or where it came from. Everyone knows that they are just... The, at least the, the origins of Imperium is lost. At the time. Though they are where the main cities are founded, and it's where most events happen, and they brought with them transportation. Along with Imperium came a very odd part of, this part of the continent, Desperate Port, which everyone who goes there seems to enjoy and love wholly, but they also run all the trade. Where our adventure begins is a few thousand years after everything is settled, uh, people have gone out to the uninhabited island, have named it Shiverspar, well at least... They originally named it Golden Spear, but when they started to inhabit it and use the lands, the God of Ice cursed the land to never be inhabitable except for in dead of winter, so it was renamed to Shiverspar. You see, when your place becomes an ice level, you name it so that people know you're going <laughs> to an ice level. <laughs> yeah, just look at ice. So I'm assuming uh, they, uh, they live off fish? Uh, they live off bears, fish, like... Bear Imagine meat's not like good, though. micro Russia. Micro Russia. Okay, where's the bread? Bear no meat. bread. Is that what savages? Oh God! Eat? Is not anyway, even bread. So, so what you're saying is Desperate Port. <laughs> so what you're saying is people from Shiver Spar have Russian accents. They can have Russian accents, and they can have Weeaboo accents. <laughs> Why is <All> right. <laughs> All right, what, so, which, uh, wait, which is the weebiest nation? Is it, uh, Super uh, Spar. Asteria. Uh, I mean, yeah. Hmm. Okay, Asteria. And so, uh, at the time being, people have inhabited the entire continent. The lands of Titan has crumbled from its original origin, but is slowly coming back. Alisteria is keeping things strong and magical. Nephilim, no one knows much about. And Hall is, uh, Hall is an interesting place. Created by the slaves of Titan, your characters were uh, have all received a golden ticket in the mail. One second. Uh, there we go. <laughs> ah, put the things on my screen. Whoa, ah, this is that's a, fucking cool. A golden glowing ticket sent to you by the All King. The All King is the current ruler of Imperium. He was he you long before any of you all existed. He was king. And he's right. been king ever since you were born. So I have a question. The Omni King wants to speak with me? <laughs> Finally. Smooth, why are you drawing all over the map? Brother, who's the true noble. <laughs> Smooth, why are you drawing on the map? <laughs> Thank you, Smooth. funny and I can. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yes. yes I'll, uh, you toss this on my other monitor. <clears throat> I mean, everyone can see this. It's, it's fine. Oh, but, yeah, that's true. Uh, you're hit that's with a true. summon. It, it wants you, because they believe that you are good enough for this holy quest. 
More information will be at Imperium itself, and each of your guys' golden ticket is branded with a 13. Okay, but do we get a plus one? <laughs> right. You'll have to find out when you get there. <clears throat> no, Titans are No, we have 13. Base. We're not 12 plus one, and we're not 14. <clears throat> we're 13. Oh yeah, this is actually a 13 uh, lightning return, so... <laughs> Now this uh this campaign was actually made for 13 level 5 adventurers. I think you guys oh. can handle it though. Uh, oh. hmm. You know what? Yeah, I feel like uh. we're up. I'm up to the challenge. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, was character introduction time? No, no. It was, it was made it was made for 6 level 7 characters. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually made for uh for 4 level 13 characters. In fact, this uh -oh. was actually just made made for one. It was level actually made for a single level twenty character. I mean, yeah, he's look, he's right in the middle. <laughs> he is the D twenty. <laughs> oh god, there it goes, Daniel All right. twenty. <laughs> all right, so how do you guys all arrive in a period? All right, so uh, who wants to go first? Now, uh, I'll make it clear, like everyone got this ticket way ahead of time, and you were told to meet at Imperium at a specific date. So you like all, months in advance? Yeah, like months in advance, like so you could get there. He didn't oh send God. it out like three days and be like, arrive or Yo, die. be here now. Well, time be to charter here, a boat, I square. guess. <laughs> Valar arrived I'm, on foot. I was gonna uh, say we should go in order of the Rule 20 thing so it'd be Ed first. Oh, also, we never said what fucking game this is. Oh, uh, this uh, is D this Dungeons and Dragons Next or 5th Edition? <clears throat> you probably put that next title four. there, Ed. No, next is uh, next is fifth edition. All right, so I guess if we're going in order of like the names and shit, then I would be first. This is actually a Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Call of Cthulhu. God, so this doing party with Call of Cthulhu! Holy shit! <laughs> this could be fun, yeah. But um, should I do a full character introduction or just how I got to the Imperium? Uh, you can do a character introduction if you want to. We might save that for when you guys meet. But uh, it's specifically how you guys get to Imperium. But feel. If you yeah. do a character introduction, then everyone has to. All right, uh, I'll save and I'll save for when we all meet. It'll probably be better that way. So my character is born. Well, I wouldn't maybe not born, but definitely raised in Shiver Spar. Ended up doing thieving. Eventually decided thieving kind of sucks. I get shot at a lot. I want to take up spell blading, but just but while being very talented, still a thievery and just generally being pretty sneaky. I guess that's what got her on this list. Alrighty, yeah, so... Her goal is to retire. Goal is to retire. Is that With a goal like that, it's probably pretty humble, and the king thought after someone with that humility to take on this mighty mission. Humility. But yeah. Let's just sail Listen, right down... this is my world, and we'll use my <laughs> words! <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'll just sail on down to Imperium, maybe hitch a train from... Oh yeah, Desperate everyone Port. will probably take a train mm. from Desperate Port unless they're if they're sailing from Shiver Spar. Yeah, you never. That's... Weirdly enough, though, you don't remember any of your time in Desperate Port. That's concerning, it's but like, it's, weirder it's like shit it never has happened. even happened. It's, it's like you got into a train and that was it. You literally you got off. On, on... Yeah, you basically just woke up on a train. Well, concerning, but weirder things have happened. Yeah, that's some strong enchantment magic. Alrighty. All right. Who's next? Uh, it'd be Flair for going down that order. All right. Uh, it be L or B. That's so... that's Medi. Yeah. I think. All right, God. How did you get to here? Oh <laughs> uh, well, you see, in the tenth grade. <laughs> <laughs> in the tenth grade, what? Dude, he didn't even freaking start out as oh, a newborn. He started out in 10th we grade. Freaking <laughs> speed Discord. running. No, we're talking about Rule 20. Yeah, we're talking about Rule 20. Since we're all, since all, right, we're all looking so, at. Uh, clocking out from her job as a town guard. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, sorry to interrupt Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I'm going to send something to Flair. You, you, uh, you keep doing your thing. All right, but uh, you might freak out. Why? Uh, you're about to see a very powerful. Uh... Oh, oh! Save it for All later, right. though. Okay, but uh, 
So, clocking out of their job as a uh, town guard, Captain, well, self-proclaimed, Captain Shine Spark, no, 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 and her, her vassal, or not vassal, um, retainer, retain, her retainer, Steve the Intern, uh, just hey. marched towards the, <laughs> marched towards the castle. <laughs> All right, so uh, you, you're bringing your retainer with you towards the castle. Yeah. I mean, Imperium is a city. Mm-hmm. It's like, imagine, like, a futuristic city among your medieval society. It's weird. Hard to explain. <laughs> is, I can picture it. Why is the Shivers Bar face so smug looking? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, just, it's because I'm just we're marching better in than with you. my intern. And Titan is angry. All right. Did you request time off from your time as a guard, or did you just leave? Uh, I put in a like some PTO ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> some PTO? I don't some think PTO. this is gonna cover it. <laughs> I like to imagine you 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 floated into the room and you slapped the table and he didn't hear it at first, so you slap it like a bunch. <laughs> then I then I table. Yeah. Steve slapped the table for me. Yeah. <laughs> and then Steve slapped the table. <laughs> All right. Should we probably say what the races are so people know from the start? Oh, Shine, Shine Spark is a friggin' a little pixie. pixie. Drell, is... dark elf, basically. Steve's just he- Steve is the human. <laughs> the human. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the rest of the party is also human. No. Mm. I'm I'm going I'm going by the fucking pictures. I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, so next we have Pixie, is, and then mm-hmm. the, we have the Drow, and then a the Pixie. Uh, next would be Monica. Yep, that's uh, that's me. Uh, didn't uh, didn't, didn't you say uh, many that the place that they'd probably have just a shit like a shit like low low level noble house would be whole, right? Whole. Tight anywhere, honestly, as a low yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, that's where I was thinking. So, 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 so my, uh, so my, so my bard, or should I say, my noble bard here, Bernard Simon Eugene Hawkins of the Noble House Hawkins, <laughs> <laughs> originated somewhere in a city in you know a small town that is nowhere relevant in whole, like Tell or or Gef here, right? Is yeah, that, Tell, Gef, or Ort. Yeah, he, yeah, they're just they're not important. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't important. Uh, of, of course, important. of course, uh, he has a older brother who's better than him in everything. You know. <laughs> oh really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh no. You know he's the fighter, and then of course this one was better with you know. Music. Oh, Eugene's doing piano practice again. <laughs> I just killed a bear. <laughs> I killed a bear with my bare hands. Shut up, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be a holy knight. Yeah, but I'll be a samurai. <laughs> oh God, no! I'll, I'll be a I'll be a musical noble. You will, you'll regret it. <laughs> and 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 so of course him getting this me like he's he is very happy about this, thinking that he finally has something that makes him better than his brother. So so of course uh, you know because of course he is a noble with money and you know just or at least from a family of nobles you know just took the train and made it all the way to imperium with no problems Alrighty. then next. that would be me next with a <clears throat> with a lillian flora a uh, a servant born maid from shiverspar also hmm. originally Alrighty. she started out as just a maid for a house of Nerd, whoever is doesn't really matter. Minor um, noble mobility. A rabbit gambler. And, uh, and then one day came to port a uh, a boat which uh which was um known as one of the gambling boats uh which originated from Alistaria. Came all the way around and uh Some people refer to it as for... the golden saucer. It was docked in her city for uh, like a few months, and she was able to go there and be like, "Dude, this is freaking rad! I love gambling." 
gambling is like the coolest thing ever. Not like losing money and gaining money, just gambling in general. <laughs> I just like I like the thrill. It's so cool. Can I, can I, hey, um, hey, um, the people that I work for and also my family, can I be moved to here, please? No. Answer was eventually yes. No. So then she worked on a uh, gamble boat. Okay. And then she was trained in gambling stuff as well as fighting with gambling stuff. So she became a talented gambler. Yes. Okay. She was like, neat, that's cool. And then she got this uh, note, like, become very good at stuff. And then she was like, neat, cool, um, I have to go. <laughs> I don't think this is something I can say no to. It doesn't but also, I want money to buy my own gamble boat or ship or train. Thank you, Captain Blackjack. But I'm going to go make my own my own gamble boat with Blackjack and hookers. Maybe not hookers, but definitely Blackjack. Why do you want why, why, why do you want first mate hookers as well? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you want me and my first mate? I hate my brother. All right, and so that's that's when you arrived. Yeah, and she uh she took a ship down to Desperate Port, uh, same deal as um character. Yeah, na- names will be hard for the first few sessions. So uh, yeah, and just like well uh, with Ash, you you don't really remember your time in Desperate Port. Man, am I glad I did not go to Desperate Port. <laughs> And I would hate to have momentary amnesia like that. <laughs> and I'm here. Alrighty. Next right. is Board's character. Yeah, okay, that would be me. So basically, I was just out here doing things, and I was like, oh, I gotta go to this place. So then I spent, like, a while looking, for, actually trying to find a train, and then I'm here now. <laughs> Imagine, like, walking around with the lights off looking for a train. Help, where's it? I need a train. Train station! <laughs> Basically that. Listen, if I say train station, you have to say Polo. <laughs> well, at least it's after, easier to find a train station than it is to find a plane station. After I after Listen, getting after he got <laughs> After getting somebody to read to him what his ticket what actually do you mean, says. God, there aren't any he plane just lo- stations. he spends a while looking for a train to take to Imperium. That's if six we'll get you like train, that. You better honk your horn. Listen, I was lucky. Well, I was lucky in that regard. <laughs> and you're lucky that the guy who was who was reading your ticket for you didn't just take it. Oh shit! This guy's getting an adventure. I wanted an adventure. <laughs> oh, don't worry. One. <laughs> oh no! One guy probably did try to take it. He didn't get very far. Adventure. <laughs> he did not get far. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, Miss Character. I am playing Valar Octavia. The Black Prince, bastard oh, yeah. son of the King of Titan. I just remember he, after a his father tried to have him killed in a political move, he basically ran away from the country and hung out in Alistaria until he got the letter, and then by foot came to Alist- uh, Imperium. So did you choose Alistaria by choice, or like did you get used to that? St- that well, was going it was on either there? go to Hole, where, place where the place that hates my country, or go <laughs> to the place where people are somewhat chill. Something I forgot to mention, though, is uh, my character is a human. Because I imagine people oh, yeah, hate Oh people yeah, mine's Titan. also a human as well. And I'm mine's playing a half human. Okay, so, overall, we got three humans. Four, technically. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Hello! Uh, we got <laughs> one pixie, one drow, and one half, or half elf. I, I the half-starred. Half-starred. <laughs> Flair, dude. Dude, you ask, dude, Flair, dude, you asking if Steve could have tax powers? Now I'm just picturing who's Gary. <laughs> dude, we're all human or fey like. Okay, and uh, you all arrive relatively or literally the same... fey, like the fairy. Uh, I will say when when you actually have the meeting with the emperor, 
that uh, I don't have a map for that because nothing was really planned for that. You guys just kind of meet with them. So until then. Oh, good, good. Oh, tavern. shit, what the? Oh, well. What? You have a tavern of lovely, interesting folks all hit sitting or taking root in Imperium right now. So, uh, Dude, how, look, what's... that's Commander's character oh. up there. <laughs> can I, can I get... <laughs> nice steal, Nettie. I mean, I these are all recycled images. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Why is it just a wrestler? Don't I worry mean, about it. Like, why isn't image. it? Why isn't it a wrestler? It's a fucking barbarian. So, uh, what's, what's my, uh, how many tiles can I move in a single? Um, oh, man. you can move as many look tiles at... right now. It's free. Look, free look, look, look at that samurai. <laughs> a samurai. I just want to hang out by the fireplace <laughs> so I can take my fucking coat off. So yeah, I, I assume you all don't literally arrive at the exact same time. I just needed I, to dump I, you all. I, I, I was actually going to say my character shows up last to the tavern. Okay. <laughs> this is the tavern that you were all uh, sent to meet the... Or at least meet up at. Like an envoy. Yeah, you're waiting for someone to come and meet with you. So, uh, wander around the tavern for a sec, or, obviously while I get other stuff prepared. Uh, sure. Uh, just something I wanted to mention real quick, Manny. Yeah? Uh, you know the whole, uh, thing with Spellbladers is, I can teleport up to three weapons back to me and teleport to my weapon if I concentrate for an hour, right? Yeah. I just want to say, like, uh, I've got one of the daggers just stuck in, stuck in a wall back home. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. I'll be a pain in the ass to get back to where you were. Oh, absolutely, but it's a great get out of jail free card. <laughs> Literally, get out of jail free. 60 javelins heading your way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh, slash TP home. And just 60 javelins somehow just pierced your house. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> they, they're homing javelins. Uh, apparently these javelins are enchanted with magic missile. I oh god! Wait a minute, is that a meteor? No. I imagine, oh I imagine no! Steve, I imagine Steve mistakes Smooth's character for a. <laughs> She's literally for... sitting at a table drinking tea, and he's just like, "I want food." <laughs> oh yeah, I'll have an uh. Can I get a motherfucking uh? <laughs> oh um, I Sin sincerest apologies, but I do not work at this establishment. Steve, can't you see she's enjoying a drink over there? <laughs> why is she from Boston? <laughs> why, 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 why does she sound like the Jewish mom? I'm, I'm established. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what, what I'm going for yet. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, don't I'm worry. Sure everyone don't everyone worry. gets their first accident. She's, was, yeah, yeah. She's currently <laughs> in, uh, she's currently in, uh, it is I, Goyman Nobunaga. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Nobunaga. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where she's at right now. I hear Nobunogi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to give you a Nobunogi. <laughs> anyway, all right. Yes. Uh, so as you guys are wandering around the bar, there's there's definitely a few people here who seem to. Some some who are flaunting it openly, and some who, the but other people here have golden tickets as well. Hmm. All right. I'm mine is mine definitely mine. safely tucked away. <laughs> mine is stuffed right into my shirt, where no one will see it. And I'm just going to sit here and order, I don't know, just something light from the bar. Okay. Just hang out. Do you approach the bar at all? Uh, yeah, let's approach the bar. I wish I could flip my thing. Flip your thing? Like, flip uh... The token so it faces. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like uh, no, you can't what? make oh, it shit. face. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, you can only turn it. You can't flip it horizontally unless you're the G. You gotta headbutt the bar! <laughs> you mean like... Oh, wait, whoops. Wait, only... Oh, fuck. It doesn't matter. It's an aesthetic thing. Uh, uh hey. Uh, what... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Wait, I'm wait, trying to figure wait. it out. There we go. Wait. Uh, uh, oh, you had uh. it. You're flipping... <laughs> you're flipping two of us. <laughs> nope. You flipped Flare. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there. I think that's right. I don't know. 
whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna ask. Mm, I got some wine. As it's you approach light. the bar, you notice on the table, stuck to the table with knives and arrow, like uh, knives and other like stabbing instruments, there are three different wanted posters. Tempting. I'm going to investigate that. All right. Uh, which one do you look at first? Uh, let's try middle. All right, the middle one. <clears throat> it looks like this. From a close uh, examination of it, it talks about a dark figure who wanders into towns and leaves them in rubble. Or man, rubble. that looks yeah. like a guy guy who's been worshiping too much Cthulhu. Hit, yep, I, I, identity yep. unknown, but it says look for a unknown cloaked figure. <laughs> yep, I'm Which not going to fight that. Dragons is a, a I'm real statement. Gonna I'm going to go look at these. I, I love here. I should probably know if there's any new crimes I haven't been told about. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm flipping through these and you're just floating over my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, All right, uh, let's take a look at the one on the left because that's significantly less threatening. Hopefully. Oh yeah, look at this dweeb. <laughs> Alright, yep, this is, a this is a bandit leader. She is known for wielding two axes and lives around the Titan area. She has, uh, you get 100 for a live, or 120 silver alive, excuse me, and uh, 50 gold for dead, with a finger as proof of uh, purchase. Mm -hmm. Proof of purchase. <laughs> proof of purchase. <laughs> yes, I can work I with that. I bought your death. <laughs> no purchase necessary. Requires proof of uh, purchase. Where is, uh, is there a notes section on this? Uh, uh, there, on not that. for these ones. They, I used to have notes on them. I need to remake them. Oh, uh, I've already I'll just, encountered this. <laughs> uh, Recycling. <laughs> I am. Re These aren't as majorly important as they were in that game, but it would. It is nice That's to fair. have extra details. All right, let's tell see. me what's going on on that right one. Yeah, you just see. Uh, All right, Ash starts scribbling stuff down on some paper or something. Here is the right one. Not as well renowned, but a a note. Or a noble slayer from ne or Nephilim. A noble slayer, you say? He looks like a furry. He he specifically targets people of noble blood because he finds them to be best people to sell. He looks nihilistic. He's pretty nihilistic. nihilistic. <laughs> uh, wanted 25 dead, uh, 60 alive. Mainly because he hasn't caused too much damage. He's just ro he just has risen a lot of chaos. Let's take let's take this cupcake to prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna scribble that one on my note card as well, because these look like two jobbers I with luck I could take on alone. Yeah, it looks like he looks like he'll be zero problems for us. <laughs> 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 But right now, they have unknown locations. But uh, there are possible leads you could find later. Alright. <clears throat> Is everybody else doing one? Is Bored and, uh, Miss, or, uh, Bored and uh, Monica's character just standing? Well, well, no. No. Monica's character hasn't walked in yet. I was yeah, just waiting yeah, yeah, my character's supposed to show up last. Visibly buffering what? in the corner. Listen, I'm gotta my take a drink one moment. Tea posing. Right. My, my my character's showing up fashionably Waiting to spawn late. in. Like, I'm just gonna... Look, Script look they, they, they aren't in the doorway now. They aren't standing there. See? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, they're in yeah. negative space. Yeah, never board's, to be seen again. Board's character is still loading in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's taking a minute to assess his around. Board's character <laughs> walks into the room and everything is just pink and black polka dots and it says, please install Half-Life 2. <laughs> <laughs> You need Anyhow, strike yeah, bas basically, he walks in, le leaning leaning on basically a stick. Look, and he just makes his way over over the bar, and like just that. And like, ah, can, can I get a drink? <laughs> you asking me for a drink, buddy? Do you know who I am? No. I am <laughs> the champion of Imperium. All right, but I think this is the tavern. Can I get a drink? <laughs> I'm not a barmaid, man. I can't tell where I... I can't tell. <laughs> Listen, you're at the fucking counter. I'm getting a drink. He's, <laughs> he's, he's sitting on the other side of the counter, though. I can't tell. <laughs> Listen, buddy, if you want to take this outside, I'll introduce you to Sally and Stacy. 
I'm gonna the assume only he's, two ho women I assume he's holding up. I assume as he says that, he raises one fist as he says the names. Yes, it's the only two women I've ever loved, and he kisses both of his fists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I make out with them. I make out with them all the time. <laughs> they give the best head. <laughs> realizing I, I realizing I'm talking, bar. realizing I'm talking to the one wrong person. I'm gonna continue looking for who I can order a drink from. Oh shit! I forgot to order wine. <laughs> Alright, uh, there. Uh, I didn't put them there, cavern. but like, there's Our just spot. like a regular looking barmaid. Yeah. yeah. This, I'll just ask for some wine. Just ask for like, can can I get can I get a drink? <laughs> uh, yeah. What, what what kind of ale do you want? Okay, Matty, how much do you think I know? <laughs> what Blue. do you think I as the What do you think Blue I as me know? Your ale. <laughs> what kind of ale do you <laughs> want? <laughs> uh, Water. I'll have, uh... <laughs> uh, can Jonathan, I get a Can I get a Roman? I don't know what any of these are. X remember, dwarven fire remember, ale. No, uh, remember. Remember, people order our. <laughs> I know. Can I get a virgin rum and coke on the rock? Fuck! Get out of my bar! <laughs> I... Get... Maddie, I don't know what the fucking say. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what the ends. I don't know what fucking ales. Oh, is some mead. Yeah, just say mead or something. Mead, mead ale. It's whatever. alcohol. Yeah, just alcohol. It's all the same, really. I'll take your finest alcohol. <laughs> all right. Your finest alcohol. Please. Finest alcohol. Okay, three thousand gold right. pieces. When, when you say <laughs> finest, do you mean oldest? Do you mean strongest? Do you Betty, mean that was the fucking joke? Just I know. Mead. I know. Okay. Yes. She just pours you a cup of mead and slides it across the table at you. Okay. Roll a roll a dex check to catch it. Dex. That's 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 fair. That's fair considering. <laughs> I did this in my first shot of run campaign. <laughs> is it, is this, are we currently catch the, no the cup. Well, was it like is it like that one clip from that old fucking PC ninety eight game yes. where the glass just keeps no sliding name. and falls off the fucking yes. bar? Give me a that drink. One's so good. Bartender. Uh Oh, oh, oh. I'm drinking. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. Yeah, you catch it. Nice. And then she turns to you. Uh, wine was it? Uh, just something sweet, I guess. Uh, kick. Alrighty, we we got this, and she pulls out like a red reddish wine. It's a little bit date. It's like it's a bit of a virgin bottle. We we only do, we only packed it like two or three years ago, so it's, it's fine. really sweet. But okay, yeah, she fine. pours like a cup of that. That'll if be uh like she pulls out a gun. <laughs> that'll be like one gold. One gold yeah, sure, for you just... too, sir. Yeah, I'll just uh fiddle around my pocket and flicker the coin. Okay. And she stores it away. And I'm assuming you guys are gonna Unless there's anyone else you wanted to talk to at this at this establishment. Yeah. I'll let Monica do his intro while I run and make sure dinner didn't catch on fire because I left it sitting on the stove. Mm. What? Did I uh, leave the stove on? <laughs> Quick time event. Yes, no. Uh. Is, is Mr. <laughs> is, 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 so yeah, just do your uh, intro. I'll be back it, in a minute. Is, 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 is Mr. fucking muscle man fucking talking to any, like bragging to anybody else right now? No, nah, he's leaning against the table again, just <laughs> like mm. slamming alcohol. So, <laughs> again and again. So, so, so uh, is, is just uh, Mist and Smooth's character just going to be sitting there and they aren't going to be doing anything? Yeah, Probably. What are they up to? My, my character is drinking tea. <laughs> okay. He's just he's just rummaging with the table. He doesn't have, doesn't have any food or drink. Uh, a few barmaids mm -hmm. walk up besides your character, Mist, and they're just like, "Do you do you need anything?" I'm good, thank you. All right. Definitely take note of that individual. <gasps> how's the pie? <laughs> so good. <laughs> just so walks good. up to you so like, how's, how, "How's the pie, sir?" <laughs> So, so good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay, well, 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 everyone's like minding their own business. Just the door flies open as as a man dressed in, you know, ridiculous colors of green and yellow, blonde hair, having ha having visibly on him a fluba, a cello horn, <laughs> bag a fluba. Pipe. Yeah. And a heavy crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, something I forgot to note. 
Uh, basically, I can't. I couldn't make it well enough because I had limited resources when make when doing when. Well, I had limited. I had Flair had limited resources when he did the image edit. Uh, the the way, the thing that's not properly described through the portrait is the fact that so you know like uh the glasses Eskimos would wear to protect against snow blindness and stuff. That's about how thin the visor on his helmet is. <laughs> Okay. Visor is probably not the right word, but it's basically thin enough that you can only really see his pupils. The eye shield, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, opens the door of the bar. I've seen. Ugh. Like, like how, like, like how, like how, how clean is this place? Uh, decently clean. Like, it's a bit dirty just because people have come and go, come and gone because of the uh, invitations. But real, because it's Imperium, it's. Very, very high class. And it's called uh, midday, right? So they, they they haven't just opened, so it's gotten so oh, yeah. much through it. It's it, it, mm-hmm. it, it has the wear and tear of being in a city. Okay. Okay. Because if it was absolutely filthy, I was going to go on a tirade. <laughs> <laughs> who, who let this dust what? pile up? <laughs> well, he is a noble, so literally anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Hmm. If you want to Let's, play the character like that, yeah, I I, I I wanted to do it like that, but it's fairly clean though. I I, I came in wanting to complain, but but it's so beautiful in here. Exactly, <laughs> but it's, it's like, not quite up to my standards. It's not up to it my. Do. Do. It appears Imperium has been overblown. It's okay, I expected more. <laughs> Where expected was the much less, less the gold honestly, floor they spoke but... of? I think I put my expectations too low. They say that she has one made of diamonds. Running his finger along a table and picking up a bit of dust, he's just like, Ah, Imperium. It truly does not live up to the standards for the centerpiece of this universe. uh, Exactly. I'm going to go up to the table where where this this loser with his katanas are at, and I'm just going to check the dust on the table. It that takes might... a few times. <laughs> you, know, you, have to, like, do it, like, you have to do it in like ten different spots to get a little bit of dust. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> Why is this Imperium more like filthy? <laughs> what was this dude reacting to, to me? Just checking no out? reaction. No reaction. Weirdly, just stationary. He simply stares at you. <laughs> he simply stares at you. Just staring over the wine glass. Stone. What are you looking at? <laughs> Why are you looking at what me? What are like you that? looking at? No, no, no I'm, t- I'm talking to the samurai. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Teleports to the other side of the tavern. <laughs> the what samurai are you looking at? <laughs> 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 but, uh, what are you looking at? Samurai simply he he then like he raises his hand and like does like hand signs. But I don't think you guys. I don't know if you speak. He basically he's mute. Does it look like I understand your language? Guess what? You're worth. You're you're worthless of my time, and just moves on. <laughs> Damn, nobody took. Damn, okay. Nobody took ASL as their one of their secondary languages. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So uh, who's who, who's this guy in the corner here, looking like uh, looking like a barbarian? Which guy? In the no, 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 no you see, I came to this town, or I came to this town. I came to Imperium from uh, Nephilim, and I I was received this wonderful letter in the mail. And he raises his ticket, ah. and guess what? And he flips around, and there's a branded seven into it. Lucky number seven. That means that I am definitely in line to be the next heir of Imperium, and he slides it back into his coat, so I'm letting myself it chill a little bit, he wraps his arms around the girls, and if you've seen that scene from Yakuza, it's yeah. basically Majima confronting uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, the guy, he, he's like groping the girls there as well. The guy from Yakuza saying. Zero and yeah. introduction yeah. scene for him. Yeah, him. That, I love that scene so much. Hmm. He even has, like, an absurd pile of gold in the middle of the table. 
So this this yeah. dude is a wealthy prince flaunting his money. Hmm. Well, lucky you also, because I also have this golden ticket, but I'm going to not flip the side to show show what number that is, because he clearly seems to think that, uh, you know, seven's a lucky number. So let's just, uh, let's, uh, let's see what, uh... I don't think oh. you would need to roll deception. I think you're just like, yeah, I don't show it. I, 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 I was thinking about lying to say it's a better number, like one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm number one. I'm number one. Yeah. One's lower than seven in the grand scheme of things. But Joke's one's always on you. first, though. Joke's on you. It's a 13. <laughs> line. Yeah. First is the first assassinated, is, as I always say. Eh, is as I always say. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> you know the say First the killed guy. <laughs> Someone's on the move. Hmm. Alrighty, uh, anyone hmm. else uh, doing any conversation? I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm gonna... just asking... Around, around, like, hey, uh, thrift, sh- hey, thrift shop. Uh, she just says, looking at Ed's character. <laughs> uh, she kind of just like chokes on her drink, snaps around, like, it's the, uh, oh, oh, you're small. Hi. Pixies are on average from six inches to one foot tall. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty small. Not many pixies <laughs> live in Shiver Spar. Or, or, wear, exactly. chain, or wear chain mail. <laughs> Uh, or carry spears. <laughs> that looks a or, heavy. Or, or or have a random person following them around. What has oh, no, drawn you into the great country of Imperium? Uh, state <laughs> retirement funds. <laughs> Retiring to Imperium would be really nice. She kind of just like scoots away, thinking it's the police. Well, it is. Oh yeah, you are a thief! Mm -hmm. (laughs) Charging my fucking slash teleport home. (laughs) I could charter another boat. Well, oh no, someone's (laughs) at the door. Well, if you're if you're about that golden ticket and you're finding the good fight, I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the field of battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as that finishes, the door of the bar creaks open, and you hear a loud trumpet as in walks a beautiful-looking man. A man of... Like Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's a man? Yes. <laughs> he like, is oh. Maladrin. Oh, uh, for those who can identify that. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so... You know first, how elves first are... there's the drow. They are the dirt of the elves. Then there's the elves. They are the dirt of the high elves. Then there's the high elves. They are the dirt of the freaking Eladrin. The okay. Eladrin would spit on a high elf. Wow. <laughs> Commoner. And, and, and all these people are, are the dirt of gold. There's a fucking half elf in here right now. <laughs> which is even there's worse. A half elf and a drow in here right now. <laughs> That's yeah. even worse. The man walks Super in. Super major yikes. Yeah, drows are bow- agitated by pretty much everybody. <laughs> bows to the audience. The High King will see all those with a golden ticket. Please, come, come forth and show me your tickets, and I will lead you to the High King's meeting grounds. All right, men, single file. <laughs> Let's scoot out of this situation. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> get out get in line sorry get out, get in line. This, is, this is not single file shoulder <laughs> checking people teleports through you I, sorry I, I didn't up in my you. table push in my chair and get in line oh god only... just... this where is the not... fuck did that guy go <laughs> i know that's not who it is but with how small the image is i'm just gonna keep thinking of this guy as stone cold steve austin <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not right, but the image is too small. It's, it's Brock Lesnar. Yeah, that <laughs> is Brock Lesnar. Joke's on you, Excuse I don't me. watch The wrestling. name's Bork Laser! <laughs> Bork Laser, you sound like a loser. Oh, God, I'm no. a wizard! <laughs> is, 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 the, is this the punch wizard? <laughs> Reminds me of freaking my punch wizard. <laughs> I'm, just gonna set, I'm just gonna set the wine glass I ran off with on the little counter here, like this little table thing. Just hope no one saw me leg it. 
All right. Gotta look legal. Gotta look legal. Like, I like how all the nobility is in right next to each other. <laughs> I mean, they all they all know. They, they all know they gotta separate themselves from, from, from the common filth. And the servant right behind them. Yes. Exactly. Who's first to approach? Shine Spark, who attempts to get everyone in a single file line along with Dave. <laughs> Trying to keep my distance. Don't worry, the help. Unless you are part of this, you may sit out. I will keep things in order here. I I got a ticket. <laughs> I got to I get to serve my country. <laughs> uh let's me inspect that ticket. Do you hand him the ticket? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, he basically he takes out like basically the medieval equivalent of a whole punch and he punches it. <laughs> I don't know why. The only thing I can think about is that he's doing it like it's the Polar Express. Yeah, where he just like <laughs> fucking like goes to town on it. Just, just, just machine gun presses it. But yeah, he uh, <laughs> he punches it and then issues to move on. I'm I'm gonna hang back till everyone else goes because I kind of want to avoid the oh, police. And, uh, oh, and uh, this is my intern, Steve. Is is he allowed to come with me on this great journey? Ah, uh, yes, one second, let me see your ticket again. I show the ticket again. He punches yes. it again. Uh, in, the fi- in the fine print, there's a plus one right here. <laughs> oh, shit. He double punches it, so yeah. yeah. There you go. Next! Good. Me, I guess. I just Hello, point. sir. Could you please present your ticket? He, like, fumbles around for a moment, looking, and then he pulls it out and hands it to the guy. He takes it, punches it, and hands it back to you. Alright, thank you. Just starts Alrighty. walking outside. And issues Acc- you outside. Accidentally bumps into the guy as he walks out. Ugh. <laughs> he brushes himself off. Next, please. Uh, a human. At least it wasn't a half-elf or a drow. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating? No, <laughs> let's anyone into Imperium these days. The name's Bork Laser. I don't care about your name. You're stupid. <laughs> Just from behind him. Loser. Loser. I got the ticket mark with a hundred. I'm going to be the best of the best. One hundred out of a hundred. And your ticket is stamped, sir. Please leave. All right. Thanks. <laughs> go move. Go, go go back to your mud hut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next. I think the samurai is next. Yeah. The oh, sound this. of like strings and what can it? Un- oh, the sound movement. of a Sony conference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this character now. The sounds of like unnatural movement. And it approaches, raises the ticket, he punches it, and the Elijah looks a little weirded out by this guy, but he continues forward. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna mo- motion over to Miss Character and go, that man is a, that man is definitely a strange fellow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I insist Not a after shit you. was given. He, he positions to uh, Monica's character after okay. you, I insist. Ah, okay. My no, 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 no. You see, I'm the one who should be going next. Get out of my way. <laughs> I am much, I am of much richer blood than you. I am clearly much better than you. <laughs> Slaps him to the fucking oh, floor. Blood lines. Sirs, please. Noble fight! <laughs> Alright, how many man servants did you have as a kid? How many did you have? Because I had too many to count. <laughs> I have so many that even my family has lost count of them. They haven't made up a number big enough yet. I never had any servants. <laughs> oh, God. Generations God, themselves could not count the amount of servants that I've had under my tutelage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take another half step back. <laughs> <laughs> My How do you deal with your problems? I bet you actually have to lift your finger. I just throw money at my problems and they go away. Now get now just like this out of my way. And he grabs no. like a handful of gold and throws it in your face. 
<laughs> oh, oh shit, free money. Money fine. <laughs> Don't try to get out of this draft dodger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm saying I'm saying to character. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, what did he say? Don't try to get out of this draft dodger. <laughs> I forgot my coat. Steps back. Uh, teleports back to the coat. Th throwing money at your problems, you remind me of those merchants that my grandfather had to get rid of. <laughs> oh, we oh, mean the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to put it like that. Didn't on. even wait. <laughs> Are you incapable of not saying that? <laughs> oh We're not even an hour in. Oh Anyways. my god. Sorry, sorry, I meant the halflings. <laughs> he then presents his ticket forward to the guy. I think it'd be the dwarves. And he's going to hole punch his ticket. Do you do anything? Who who might my, my character? Yeah. Uh hmm. wait, wait, say to him first to die, right? Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. Do it. That's what he said to you, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me. I I need to check something just just to be sure here. Actually, I I know I know exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna slap him with a good old vicious mockery. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Wow. And uh, if if I remember, Bard's uh, rolling. Uh... Actually attacking hit somebody. Yeah, isn't is, isn't Bard's like casting spells is just their charisma, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just their charisma. Okay. Uh, I believe he uh... gets a save. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. I believe he gets a wisdom save. Let me see if I can. I don't believe you have to roll anything for this. Yeah, no, he no. rolls. He okay. is the one that needs yeah. to roll. I believe he needs to make a Shit. save. How do I roll to your... him again? Maybe <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's... Slash it... GM roll. Slash, slash GR. Oh, it's... I'm looking at the shortcuts on here. Slash GM roll. Roll the dice ball the GM can see the result. Or slash GR is the shorter way of doing it. Ugh. Oh, oh, God. Bad. All right, what's the DC check? Uh, it would be uh, 8 plus your proficiency, so 8 plus 2, so 10 plus your charisma modifier. Mm. What's your charisma? Oh, my charisma? Yeah. yeah. 16. So plus 6 3, plus so 3, 13. DC 13. Okay, so you need to get 13 or higher. shit out of that. <laughs> he got a 2! <laughs> oh! Uh, 1d4 psychic damage. Just yep. played that little instrument, ah! and then boom. Oh, my brain! And I... he drops his ticket, <laughs> and, he, and he stumbles back into the table behind him, knocking it off and sending the drinks flying. The wizard, who is sitting there, stands up, and he moves to another table. <laughs> stands up and keeps that melancholic face. <laughs> uh, you gave the guy a headache. <laughs> so yes, the, you, you have stumbled away your, your problem. Laszlo Plintz lays now in quick, a pile of alcohol ticket. and food. <laughs> Get your ticket punched quick. Yep. Humans well, truly are the most unique creatures on the planet. I mean, I am unique after all. Uh, you're truly something. I am something. <laughs> you are truly one of a I'm kind. I'm truly great. <laughs> At least I hope so. Listen, son, I've lived a thousand years. Your nose can't be lower than mine, no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Just give me your ticket so I can punch it. I'm like holding it out, like okay. You didn't see just you gotta <laughs> yeah, tell me when you're holding it, yeah. it out. Yeah, and he okay. punches it and issues you forward. Okay, I'm just gonna walk out. Valar's Next, just please. gonna quietly approach, keeping his head down, trying to cover his ears. And just hand him the ticket. What? Nice. 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 You did the <laughs> dot. Yeah. 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 Alright, try again. <laughs> oh, it changes numbers. Be oh my hey. fucking Christ. Oh. He stops you. Is what there is an issue? Filthy mud blood like you doing here. <laughs> <laughs> Get a gnat or some shit? Just punch <laughs> my ticket. I assume that was a perception check. <laughs> I yeah. I just see yeah. it. <laughs> 20! <laughs> 20 on the perception! Oh. 20 perception instantly! As soon as he walked into the room, he noticed your stench. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, sm I smell mud. I smell half an elf. I'm gonna take a seat. <laughs> this to blow over. Yeah, all right, I so he takes your ticket me. and he explicitly stamps it multiple times. I could smell half of you. one. <laughs> Better <laughs> dead than half. <laughs> issues issues you forward. Is this, isn't the guy next to me out cold? Uh, he is. Oh, he's got a headache. He's it screaming, like clutching his head. I, already heard. I, I just, I, 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 I just blew the bagpipe very loud. That one note. No, vicious mockery is you insulted <laughs> him. Yeah, I, I try to do it, like yeah. a stealth pee break and I missed shit. <laughs> yeah, he's he's just got a, he's got a headache. I doubt one. Excuse me, ma'am. Aren't you the help? Not of this establishment. No. She pulls right, out her as... ticket. Ah, okay. And he stamps it and he issues you through. Last call for ticket users. Inches forward. <laughs> I... I said ticket users, not thieves. <laughs> oh. Damn. Hey now, she may look like a draft dodger, but I assure you she's good people. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you standing in the doorway? So I'm just gonna fish around in my shirt. And just and just take out the ticket. It's kind of sweaty, a little crumpled. He gets she might really be standing closely... in the doorway, but she's not blocking it. He gets Punches really closely in into your face. Drows are basically the most hated race. Aladrin's mm, looking at things. Tieflings. Tieflings are. You're looking at dirt of dirt of dirt of dirt. I've Imagine never heard of a pixie door. I, I, I don't know an, an accurate way to describe the level of disgust. <laughs> this is an Aladrin looking at a drow. Yeah, this like, uh, this is worse than that face Waka gave Riku. A half elf followed up by a drow. His like imagine <laughs> imagine if, imagine if a literal piece of shit started talking to you and <laughs> trying to act as an he, equal. He looks at you and he's examining and he's like, "What is your name?" Ash. He looks at the ticket. All, all I should say, all your tickets have your name. Right. What's your so, last name? Like, like like when we mean name, do we need do we mean full name? <laughs> Because because this man would have to write Bernard Simon Eugene yes. Hawkins. It's okay. just go. Okay. <sighs> I am Ash Nilo. I'm from Shiverspar. Not born, but raised. You pass. And he stamps it as small as possible so it shows, but he's disgusted by it. And then he just drops mm -hmm. the ticket on the ground instead of handing it back to you. And then it wipes his hands off. <laughs> yeah, he then walks over to the guy over here. I and, need he and he takes is like that a, is that a pot of boiling bow? water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Audible exhale. He he takes the guy who's on the ground and he just grabs and he cleans his hands off with it and throws it back to the ground. It appears you're too unconscious to continue. <laughs> I mean that one D four psychic damage which fucked him up. <laughs> He didn't have a lot of it. He's he's not actually all that strong. That's what <laughs> I level, said. He he's was level a loser. one. <laughs> he's a level one wizard, so you fucked him up pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. but you, <laughs> the wizards in the system start with a D six. Yeah, but he also crashed into a table afterward. Yeah, damn sturdy table. <laughs> yeah, all I right. Mean, it's still that, going from six to two is still a lot. That's I bloody. Guess. <clears throat> you bloodied a man in your first encounter. Never mind. <laughs> wow. Star, guys. Never mind that there are some editions with like death by massive damage exists. <clears throat> oh no, this man died of severe brain okay. trauma. No one knows so, how. <laughs> the Eladrin now begins to uh he guides you guys down uh, multiple hallways and uh, uh sorry, uh, alleyways until you guys reach a like I said there's no map for this, so you have to imagine it. You'll reach a castle that none of you even noticed existed. It's like it exists in your peripheral vision, and that you can't ever focus on it until he leads you in this specific way. That's not too unusual for me. I walk this lonely road. <laughs> the only one that I have ever known. Oh, Don't man. know where it goes. It's hard to notice things sometimes. This I'm gonna nudge the maid. I'm just Sorry. gonna... You're getting a little sick of illusions too, buddy. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the maid. You. Oh. 
I'm I I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play my cello horn real quick. Oh my god! My <laughs> what? Play oh, oh, is a song. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I wish I, man, I wish you, I liked brass. The Aladrin stops and turns what around and watches. What did you roll for that? My performance. Yep, there, I don't think performance is a skill. No, is performance can't remember. Is, is absolutely a skill. Okay, I can't yeah, remember. I Fifth edition took out a lot of things. I can't tell what exists anymore sometimes. <laughs> I think I have performance. God, speed bar. <laughs> but, yeah, even the Eladrin turns around and gives you a single... <laughs> claps. Good, Not good great. Good job. That's just <laughs> you've, been, you've impressed someone who thought nothing of you before. Man, God, I'm I already making press. impressions here. This is Castle Imperium, protected by a multitude of magic spells, impossible to penetrate. You will all be meeting in the throne room of the All King. Follow me and make preparations for a long journey ahead of you. After this point, you must continue on the quest. I will only allow people to opt out now. You know, now that I think about it, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> given how I was able to impress you with, with just with just a mere novice of music like myself, the samurai <laughs> he actually turns around and walks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later, later, dude. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, when Ash uh said the thing to um Lillian, she she kind of said, "Well, <clears throat> you know." Especially with the king. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. And then we're cut off by the cello horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, Shine like... Spark is very excited to actually meet the king in person. <laughs> Alrighty, so he, uh, the Eladrin like man, the Eladrin man leads you down the hallway until where there are at least 15 of him standing in royal garb. Uh, in like a uh, parallel line except for one space is missing which he then walks up and takes guard in that space and then they all summon forth instruments they use they, if it, uh, it's very obvious because they're not trying to, to mask the casting they are using specifically summon instrument if anyone was interested okay. <clears throat> and from a throne room down descends this man Oh, that's a cool app. It's a big beard. I can hear a wizard approaching. Shine, Shine spark, salute. <laughs> the moment he enters the room, I'm gonna take a take a knee. No need to give me any any grandiose. I'm just an old man. I'm just the plumber. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I, very much. I was going to I was going to slav squat. Let's just stand back up real quick. Uh, the the maid curtsies. As a deep bow, curtsy. I just kind of stand there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him like a like, like like you know like those bows where like you wave your hand a little bit. Like I'm going to do that with a flourish. Nice. Yeah, with a flourish. Yeah. Or you, like you put your uh, the other hand behind your back. Yeah, like that, and like do. Bork Laser lays his championship belt out in front of him and <laughs> gets down in a prayer position. <laughs> I I I think I'm. Please. I just all right. There. So that's very too much. Get up that's, now. Please. Please make two characters in a row that kind of just went to the wrong place. Am I in the right setting? Summoned. I mean, yeah, your name is on the ticket. You were specifically summoned. Oh yeah, that's true. Even that's so like um... she doesn't feel like she belongs. Some though. people yeah. refer to me as the All King. That's a title I took as a young, strapping old. Thousand year old man. Old man. <laughs> old man. Yeah, he's strapping old man. Yeah, it, I got cut off. The... He says a young, strapping thousand year old man. Okay. Yep, that, that's uh, that's uh, that's the. I like title young, right strapping he... old man though. Yeah, that, that's definitely the title. Young, strapping. <laughs> yeah, old that's man. a title. Young, strapping old man. But I'm getting up there in age. In this age, I'm doing the old ceremonies is never as easy as it used to be. So. With, with the coming decade, I I feel we we should do the old grandiose ceremony. With the grandiose ceremony, which everyone should know, 
unless your character's literally living under a rock. Even people from Shiverspar know about the ceremony. It's when all the nations, including uh, Nephilim. including Nephilim, all of them were given or were gifted a pillar of magic, which allows magic to flow freely throughout the entire nation, the entire continents. And uh, every couple hundred years, the All King will make a journey around the entire continent and light the pillars himself because they have a magical flame within them that he uses specifically. But the but now he's explaining to you guys that this year, this ceremony, he is way too up there in age, and he can't leave, and that there, he recently received a threat on his life, so he's being forced to stay in, even though he wants to go out adventuring. So he's issued this grandiose uh, celebration out to these, or he's put the, uh, the actual ceremony itself onto the people of the entire world. He, he felt like he can take one one ceremony off. Is the flame of that Man. magic kind of like what he has in that picture there with his scepter? Yes, it's a lot like that flame on the scepter. Man, what, what the what, what I'm thinking right now is like the only actual people that'd be able to put like any sort of threat on him that would actually make him go. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Is like some type of like like Oblivion style Daedric cult. <laughs> Part of me genuinely kind of wants to roll. Oh, the red dawn. This guy literally has a minus two in history. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but now I mean, this is like a, this is something that everyone would know. Like, this is something yeah. you were told as a kid. Even in Titan, they know about this. Bold of you to assume I listen to my parents. <laughs> Bold of you to assume that I know language. <laughs> Bold of you to assume I can read. <laughs> but uh, here, yes, yes, the pillars uh they're they're mighty, they're mighty shiny beacons of hope for the land and I, I need you all to go out and acquire or light excuse me I'm mixing both of the parts of the quest up go out and light all the pillars though I cannot lend you my staff so you will all be making your own tour. but to prove that you're ready for this adventure the 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 torches themselves exist inside of a dungeon that was crafted to get the best of the best. Now, it is located <laughs> near the border of Imperium and Alisteria. You take a left. <laughs> you should you see the stuffer shack down there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, going down that trail. Shack. You just keep going down that trail, pass by the next. But if you see the dragon the lolly, thing. <laughs> you, you see, see the, the dragon, dragon lolly. You've gone too far. Turn if you back. see the dragon lolly, do not touch her, cause it is illegal. Don't, don't you mean the dragon trap? <laughs> Depends on which one you're talking to. Oh no! Oh, oh no! I hate my, this. My the. Some of the people that helped govern my nation made made lollies illegal recently. <laughs> recently, <laughs> Digi Bro screaming. <laughs> but yes, I hope you all survive the dungeon. It is very dangerous, but I have faith in the people that I have chosen for this journey. There's I have there, sent like, others. Thirty-five stairs, mirrors in there. Uh, I should also make mention that, like. Uh, there are more than just what appears to be here. There were other adventurers waiting inside for this. You yeah. guys, you're the last little group. They probably all just died in the dungeon because they got jumped by skeletons or something. Oh no! Skelehood? Skeleton! So, either, e e either they got ganged up by a bunch of goblins. Fucking skeleton warriors. Yeah, goblins! I don't like them! <laughs> Nahail will lead you to the exit point and allow you to continue on your journey on your own. Until then, you will you will all be given a map to the area with the map itself on display of the dungeon. That is poorly worded on my part. Apologies, but basically, I'm gonna slide you over here really quick. Yeah, but, he's, uh, he's, is, he's old. He's getting senile. It's perfect. I don't even have to pretend like I don't know how to talk. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically what the map looks like for you guys. Well, that's neat. Oh, hey, we're going to Wales. <laughs> that guy's oh, yeah, in it is, a. it is Wales. Hey, no! <laughs> oh, no! So, yeah. 
This is what your map looks like, and you're told that this Fuck, is- Fuck, I have to pee again. <laughs> this is the dungeon you're going to. Someone fill me in when I get back. Uh, and basically after that, the, uh, the All King turns back around and goes to sit on his throne. Where he then falls asleep. <laughs> and once he does that, Val Valor's gonna rise to his feet again. Godspeed, King. <laughs> the old king is a he's a humble old man. Here's the for sack. <laughs> I, really I would like, like everyone to check their tickets, please. This is uh, the same Eladrin who led you guys here. He goes back to right. as if he was leading the group. All Everyone, right. please check your tickets. All right. <laughs> All those marked with the same number find your group. 13. Uh, Lillian looks at her ticket and uh, starts looking around, asking politely um, for others with the 13. Uh, 13. Damn, I wish I could read. <laughs> First, she goes to is wait like 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 like, lo like looks at it, looks at it, just just sees a one. Gosh dang it! Stop slash roll. I know, I know. Oh. Five. That is missed. Ow! <laughs> Want to blink back into existence? What did I miss? No. Look, You're trying, trying to find people, people with, with the with the same number on your ticket. First one oh. I go to is uh, missed's character. Damn! I wish I could read. <laughs> Oh, um, excuse me, from but the, uh... what is the number upon your ticket? Uh, it is 13, ma'am. Wonderful. The first one is a match, and she <laughs> shows her ticket as a 13. <laughs> ah, seems fate has put us together. I'm sorry, that exceeds 21, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's his hand, and this is mine. We're currently <laughs> tied. I hit. Hit. <laughs> For... Double or nothing. Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. Tyr has oh, decided right. to place us together, it would seem. You're bust. Wait, roll 10. I'm retarded. Nice. What? I don't know how roll 20 works. I feel excuse oh, hey, me. Oh, here's a card. Oh, oh. 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 This God is my it. card. No, fuck you, Smooth. Stop it. <laughs> Smooth, no, no, stop Why playing solitaire. <laughs> Why is this allowed? No, go away. Stop playing. I'm pretty sure you could set it up so that players can't draw on the map. Yeah, you can't. How do I even but... get rid of my card? Yeah. How do I get rid of it? No, you're playing solitaire now. Patrol, the gap patrol. <laughs> there we go. Um, after, after Lillian finds Valar, he's actually going to raise his ticket into the air with 13. Do a little spin to so see people can spot it. Gonna look down to mine. Mine also says thirteen, right? Yes. No, yours says twelve. <laughs> Steve is. I'm gonna stuff that piece of paper back into my shirt and walk on over. Hi. Ah. Fellow <laughs> fake. Ah. <laughs> Quietly, just yawn. <laughs> Disgusting. You have the same number as well. Yeah. Nope, I guess He's gonna you extend know. his hand. And the Aladdin is looking at that. <laughs> and he's just like, Phil like they're all being corralled together. <laughs> they're all being corralled together. Filth comes together, it would seem. <laughs> it looks like it looks like dirt. Day. It looks like dirt collects in even the shiniest of places. <laughs> I mean, I like to think I'm a decent person, but all that's right. why he's trying to shake your I'm hand. Towards, shake your hand. I'm flowing towards a uh, good old ah. Uh, I want to roll. I want to roll strength to try and assert dominance in this handshake. Okay, <laughs> roll okay. strength against each other. Right oh yeah, uh, Bork Laser goes off to find his hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, six, five. <laughs> That's a nat one. So do I just like g just squeeze his... his hand? No, <laughs> just like a solid handshake. Quite a good cut there, ma'am. Oh, that's a great grip you have there. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Just like the back of it. How the fuck? When did I get so buff? <laughs> it kind of like, 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 like me and my ten out, like, strength. Like, get the feeling back in his hand. Excuse me, Bernard. Excuse me, Bernard Simon Eugene Hawkins. Hmm. 
Ah, yeah, at least someone knows my name. Of the House Hawkins, <laughs> I assume. <laughs> House Hawkins. Yes. Oh no. Is- <laughs> why? Why? How would he know? He was. Said- House- what is the, what is the those- address on your ticket? <laughs> it. It is. Uh, what? How should I say? Just say. It's a very large number. Thirteen. <laughs> I had like my hands up, ready to yell. Just say the number, asshole. <laughs> I. Uh... <laughs> he kind of says it. Put again, my hands back down. Once again, I'm chosen to protect the nobility. I mean, you should. Steve, Steve, straighten your straighten up. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Did you drag him out of the gutter? <laughs> you pay me literally one gold a day. He's he's my intern. One gold a day is a lot. So he has it's like ten dollars a day. It's a lot for unskilled labor. Fucks <laughs> a day. Is it... I wish I had that kind of money. <laughs> I don't get it's close like to all bucks, bucks. except for the fact that it's the nineteen forties. <laughs> oh. Are you all gathered yet? Uh, so, 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 num- number thirteen. <laughs> Number fifteen. <laughs> number no, number no, no. foot lettuce. Oh, <laughs> that is disgusting. The king's golden ticket. <laughs> that is vile. The last thing you want in your adventuring party is a drought thief. But as it turns out, that might it might be, be what, what you get. get. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> All right. That, that, that's the voice I'm imagining has now. I'm not a thief. I'm a spellblader. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I, apo- I apologize, good sir. Steve's. Can I roll? Um, can I roll deception to try and trick these fuckers? I mean, you don't have to. What? Well, you could. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Never mind. Like, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm a spellblader. It's fine. It's fine. So who's gonna who's gonna help the yeah, person who can't read? I'm just read? having Steve call out for the number thirteen. Damn, I wish I could read. <laughs> Steve, call out, Steve, call out for those with the number of thirteen. Hey, to be fair, there's a difference between being illiterate and being innumerate. I can't. I don't know what I'm looking at. There's also the difference between having six intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like I said, I had to somebody read the ticket to me a while ago. Excuse me, sir, do you have any issues with the ticket? Uh, I don't know what group, I I don't know what group I'm supposed to be going with. Ugh, and he, like, he, like, uses his pinky finger to lower the ticket so he can see the number. You are 13, sir. Thank you. Has to cut off that finger now. It touched something disgusting. (laughs) He he basically, he walks by another Aladrin and it on his armor's chest. <laughs> and then that guy oh, starts rubbing fuck? his chest against the wall. <laughs> a no, wall? No, oh, you just dry hump these bricks and like, get the filth off? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna have to smelt this metal again. <laughs> no, given that One, I heard people calling two, out 13, three, I can start going four, in that five, direction. Six. Yep, that's all six thirts. Wait, a seventh. Who is that guy? Uh, this, this, is, this is my retainer, Steve the Intern. Hey. Yo, what up? I guess there's nothing wrong with that. So that's the seven of you. You're Team 13. Number... Number 13. Stop! (laughs) Every time I hear that, I die a little bit. Well, (laughs) please gather around the teleportation circle. Oh, well, not the first time. Okay. I'm just gonna f- follow the people I'm with, I guess. No. I can't say uh, I've ever been teleported I've before. Been... Before mm? neither have I. Is... How exhilarating! I'm. Can, um, would Would it be rude to ask to go to the bathroom? I have a plan here. Don't worry. And how many times do you have to go to the bathroom? No, 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 no. I mean the character. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> and Your then I walk to the bathroom. I look. You have to. Go I know. To the I have a marble bladder. Well, this character also has a marble bladder. And it's like, hey, uh, can I, can I, can I go use the bathroom before we get teleported out? There is no bathrooms in the king's castle. That's the, 
Wait, what? The chamber pot that is or disturbing, or but the king. <laughs> what? The king what is I... a noble man. <laughs> what? My master plan was to leave a dagger in the toilet in case I just wanted to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, you teleported the to the toilet. It's his pants and. <laughs> oh god, what if I teleport into someone's ass? Alright, guys, you know how Harry Potter works. Right? JK, roll. JK, no, <laughs> no! What information man, do you have to add man, to this? Man, I, I, this I can't believe. The All King man, would used to sh constantly shit his pants. Man, man, I, can't bl I can't believe the All King's gay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I can't believe the All King shits his pants and is gay. I guess I'll just No, steal. he's heterosexual. Remember, we oh. already got told that there was no turning back now. It's too late. Yeah, you're in this. I could turn back if I Even want. Even metagaming-wise, it's too late. Again. What are they gonna do? What hunt down a drought? Yes. Yes. Yes, they will. So very very, very easily. An arrow just goes into your shoulder. Yeah, it's just like, Don't can you... I use the bathroom? Please do it. It'll make my day. <laughs> Please yeah. walk out Maddie, those doors. Forget. Walk out those damn doors. I, yeah. I threw like a th I I uh, my hometown. Which I just threw money at them so they'd back me up. I mean, they probably aren't gonna stand up to to these elves though. Oh, definitely yeah, not. Aladrin. A thousand gold pieces yeah, is a Aladrin. lot of gold. No, no, we're talking about Aladrin here. You're Alad dirt, and, Alad and and you're gonna get put in the pit. <laughs> but yeah, so. <laughs> guess I'm fucked. <laughs> All right, I, I guess I'll just step onto the circle. Is everyone on? I believe so. Do Is everyone here? To be standing down on the floor. Can I like hover above it? Don't worry. You'll feel. I don't something. I don't think Pixie's just rest wearing heavy armor. And. <laughs> and... Oh, oh gosh. Enjoy oh, no. your trip. And he snaps his fingers. Do we just get fucking... And you guys just... <laughs> Time warp. Ah, oh, shit, oh. a teleport tile. <laughs> Damn. We're in this gym. <laughs> I'm being adjusted, no! Uh oh Alright, choose your battle formation. Oh, actually, one uh. second. Ah. Uh. Ah. This is not my fetish. <laughs> is there a grid? There is a grid, but you don't see it yet. Oh, okay. Some things We're are being so hidden at the moment. Ah, my so ego! Neddy, <laughs> 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 no! Alright. Now you guys... I mean, this is just regular size. It's just... The grid teleportation. You all, you you all appear... Someone underneath me. Yeah, I was <laughs> you all appear in the middle of like a a normal walkway path, uh, like a dirt caravan road. path, dirt road. I'd say dirt road. It's yeah, and is. like, and if you all check your ticket, it has now morphed itself into a compass, which points in the direction of the temple. Oh, that's cool. Damn, this is really useful. How convenient that my horse is also here magically. Also, mine <laughs> too. <laughs> Oh, mine too. All of our horses also came with. The you guys ride. have horses? Yes, I have a horse. I already told you this. I know I you had a horse. I know how many people had horses. Only have, cost like seventy-five gold. Yeah, I have a horse and two months of horse feed. <laughs> I don't horses have... popping into yeah. existence. <laughs> I, I don't. Need, I don't need a horse. <laughs> this is my designation. <laughs> This is my horse. Oh, really is that crazy. a raccoon? <laughs> <laughs> a raccoon girl. Who else has horses? Just, just shove yourself into the horse's asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what's happening right now. <laughs> Who has a horse? I, 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 kind of I have a horse. Token I don't ride around. it. It just carries my stuff for me. <laughs> I'm I'm riding on it because I don't want to mess up. Does the, anyone uh, else want my, a freaking yes. horse? I'm going to ride on it because I don't want dirt on my cloak. Okay. Well, my, I say cloak, but it's my oh, fucking fluffy ass fur coat. That's why I called you Thrift Shop. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. <laughs> I'm gonna pop some tags. <laughs> I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm, listen, I know kind I'm of dirt, dope. but come on. <laughs> All right, so. 
now that you guys have touched down and you know you, you basically know where to go because it points you in that direction. Uh, you are now in basically like a hill, the, a mixture of like a forest leading to a mountain. So, so kind of like on the edge of a plateau. I think so. That's a word. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so are you guys heading to straight forward, or are yeah. you uh, making? Would you possibly want to make camp, use bathroom? Are you lying about needing to use the bathroom? Did mm. you say you need to use the bathroom? We'll wait. Uh, I'll, I'll just go off on your Did you go in your pants? <laughs> Did you go in your pants like a wizard? <laughs> Let's just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna sit here. Uh, <laughs> bury a dagger. Yeah, just bury a dagger in the woods. Well, that's that, my two. Gonna, Fuck me, I guess. Gonna cry? Kiss your pants, maybe? Maybe shit and cum? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, if I may, uh, for some like spells I needed materials, I didn't know this until today, can I just retcon some of that shit in my inventory? Just buy a I component pouch. I, I just assume everyone yeah. has them. Just uh, never, okay. never been assumed. Just buy a component pouch. Oh, you don't pouch care about the material shit? As long as you have a component pouch, you basically have all your materials. Yeah. Unless it specifically yeah. says it uses up what you're using. Yeah, or, what yeah. I, or focus. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, I'm not, say that. Unless it specifically says that it... That. <laughs> Alright, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I, I'm good. I come out of the woods like two minutes later. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. Ah, fuck! Then he dies. Ga- go- game over. Go- God All just right. screamed for a second there. Uh, so... Oh, fuck. Going forward now? Mm-hmm. Yep. I want yep. someone to roll a 100. I'll do it. No. I'm just going to hang the around the back. Yeah, everyone get into your formation. 22. Alright, 22. I gotta stay behind mm. people because it's the only way I can really follow properly. <laughs> oh, Valor's gonna take the lead. Oop. Oops. Uh... I, my horse is being left behind. Shy Spark right. is protecting the noble. As you guys continue down As the woods, should be. you hear the the grizzly sounds of a bear. Is it a grizzly bear? No. I'm no. gonna throw it. It's actually a brown bear. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I have an idea. Pick up the and bear. Pop- this is pop not over! Bears! Yeah. <laughs> Fucking... Pop my venom dagger out of the ether and ready it. One second, because they don't have a lot of sprites for bears. I'm just gonna ready my walking stick as a weapon. <laughs> and approaching from the woods, big bear. There he is. There's oh. another one. Oh. Are two another brown one. bears looking for a fight? Oh, I thought that one was a baby. Ow. They snarl and growl as they approach both of you. How how do you guys react to this? Uh... I mean, yeah, dagger out of the ether, ready to go. Yeah, mm. I pull out my combat cards uh, stealthily. Gonna unshoot the phased. long sword and pull out the shield. Hmm. This is an aggressive right. group of people. What's happening? I'm gonna... No one here is a druid. <laughs> you don't have to be a druid to have animal handling. Hmm? Yeah, animal but handling? I don't. <clears throat> Considering the <clears throat> fact that I have the highest wisdom at 14, I highly doubt any of us took animal handling. Fuck yeah. no. I can say Wow, that. bears are fucking busted! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! Here's- and, uh, it turns out this is a CR-10? No, no, this one's actually very balanced for you guys. It better be. Uh, I, a game of disappearing I, bears. I, 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 I know what to do. Minus three bears. Uh, can I try to sneak around them and position myself in the woods, like behind them? I, I mean, yes. Yeah. Roll. Uh, before the bears are approaching you guys, so you got a action or two of things to prepare for them mm. to encounter you. But they're definitely coming at you. 
All right, let's hit that stealth. I'm I'm going to uh, pull 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 out my uh, fourteen. Like how how far away are these bears exactly? Uh about 20, 15, 25 feet. Mm, okay. Okay. Because right, I'm, uh, gonna cause, uh, I'm I'm just going to pull, pull out. Uh, I'm going to pull out my fluba, and I'm going to play my fluba while casting sleep on them. <laughs> So there's, yeah, there's, uh, the, so, uh, do you know how sleep works? You roll, uh, 5d8. Yeah, that's 5d8, yeah, yeah so yeah. if they have, uh... So, 25, <laughs> you start with the does... one with the lowest HP, if it has 25 or less health, it goes unconscious. Mm -hmm. And also, and also, uh, sleep uh... does have an area effect in between, it does have an AoE of, like, in between 20 feet. That would hit most of us. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no, did you just put the entire party to sleep with I have bears are coming HP. in? I assume he targeted the one in the middle, like, in between the two bears, so you gotta determine if that goes out 20 feet. So it's gotta, you gotta get out a measuring tool. No, oh no. Already whipping out the measuring tools. Okay, uh... That's what happens when you bust out AoE stuff. Forget exactly how to do the measuring. Let's see. <clears throat> So it's 25 health or below, and they get knocked down? What are you rolling that for, Medi? That's supposed to be a GM roll, but that's one of their health. The All other right. one, I'm giving them base health. Alright. That they is look... still too much. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. think either of them are going unconscious. Both and it the... specifically one... targets the people with the lowest HP. One mm -hmm. of them is really drowsy, but not unconscious, and the other one doesn't even look affected. It's a 20 I don't foot radius. Oh. Uh, okay. And, and but they were distracted enough that I'm gonna allow Ed to get to the wood. All right, I'm gonna position myself like here-ish. Me, me, okay, me. You don't want to get that blowing, close. Blowing, blowing my big okay. horn. <laughs> don't want to go unconscious. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean. Uh. Yeah. This. This should be fine. Okay. And so the bears do now <clears throat> get in range. Everyone roll initiative. All right. Uh, oh. Um. Also, uh, Lillian got off of her horse. Okay. I mean, I assume everyone got off their horse. Kind of patted it to just go back. A little initiative. Attempted a roll command, no token. Oh. Yeah, I got the same thing. There we Click go. Click onto your yeah. character token. E, yeah, I got it. Is that a good roll? Oof, uh, it that's seems not. Good. Like, isn't the uh, <clears throat> isn't isn't initiative? Uh, oh my god! Oh, initiative is a like some... paladins. Paladins. Pal initiative is a clickable. Make sure to click uh, on your. Actually, that's just. Click on your that. character, then open up your yeah. sheet and click initiative. So yeah, three. I, I see three. So did I it, roll. Uh, did it roll initiative? No. No, no. What? You just oh. click the button that says roll initiative. It's rolling a d twenty and adding three. It, it's uh, it's literally a button on your character sheet. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Of course. You click the you click the button that says initiative. As also make sure you're clicked onto your character. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Click your character, then click the initiative button on your sheet. Okay. Perks of two monitors. What? I do have a plus four bonus on top of your. You initiative. you have the okay. measuring okay. tool activated, not the clicker. Yeah, I, I did have the measuring tool activated. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. What? Oh, Six. one second. Do you have an extra plus four on yours? Well, I guess we're tied. Uh, what, Ed? How is what? How is yours laid out right now? Do you have anything in the bonus? Uh, I have four bonus. You shouldn't have anything in your bonus. Where, where is that coming from? Unless you have a magic item that does that, you wouldn't have anything in your bonus. Uh, I think I just copied it off my old sheet. Well, that was no, that was it was based off your dex modifier. That's already calculated. You, yeah. you oh, so you have okay. four less initiative. Okay, make that fourteen. Can you like change that? Yep. Yeah, you can just change that. I got it. I got it. Thanks. Alrighty, so lower than the bears. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bears are out to me. Can't see me. I hope. Yeah, but you're gonna go before them. <laughs> All right, so starting. Unless you with hold your turn. No oh boy. Well, clearly. Uh, where's 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 the paladin at? Ah, I I know. Uh, actually, hmm. What should I? 
I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind the, uh, the, uh, good old paladin here and slap him with a, with a good old bit of, uh, inspire. Of, uh, yeah, I can just slap him with inspire. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's it. I just imagine you mocking the bears, calling them, <laughs> hey, bears, you're a faggot. <laughs> Where's the measure tool? Measure tool actually, is the thing that looks like a measuring. I, I, I actually come to think about it because I did pick Call I don't, of Glamour. I have, I don't I have uh, mantle it's a inspiration. It's so. a circle? Right above the right It looks like a power buzz. button. Okay. It says. Okay, the reason that confused me is because it says snap to center. It doesn't didn't understand what I was looking at. You know what, what I like? Snap, corner to corner. Ugh. What does that mean? Corner to corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ew, that's gross. I hate it. Hmm. Corner. Stop. Can I hit that guy? Uh, corner to corner. All right, check the corners. Uh, corner to corner. <laughs> corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Monica. Yeah. Let's do your turn. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was. I was doing uh, good old uh, good old mantle of inspiration because I took College of Glamour. Okay, what does that do exactly? Uh, I was looking for it just to make sure sure that I can remember what it did. <laughs> Where is it? God damn it! I'm trying to. I I forgot. I forgot. I didn't put the notes on it. God damn it! <laughs> Where the hell is it? I believe the College of Glamour is in Xanathar's Guide. Yeah. Uh. I went to grab some Girl Scout cookies, but I miss nothing. <laughs> bears. Nothing. Bears. <laughs> yeah. A game of disappearing bears. <laughs> a third level um, bonus as a bonus action. Oh wait. At third level as a bonus action, you expend one of your bardic inspiration to grant yourself a wondrous appearance. When you do so, you choose a creature you can see, and I can see you within sixty feet, up to a number equal to your charisma modifier. Each of them gains five temporary hit points. So. You and I believe you said you had a what's your charisma? Uh, my charisma is sixteen. So you and three people of your choosing that you can see uh, gain five temporary hit points. That's cool. Uh, let's. Uh... Yeah, who are you giving it to? I'm probably going to give it to uh, to to of course. Uh... Well, I'm probably just going to give it to the three people that are standing in front of me because you know they're right there. There's four <laughs> people in front of you. Yeah. Uh... Steve I'm is not a person. Come on. <laughs> Steve, yeah, right here. Steve's kind of there. Um, just definitely gonna give it to the paladin, our uh, our maid here, and then our uh, our fighter pixie here. So. All right. So you guys get five ep- extra temporary hit points. Cool. I'm just I'm just gonna give another another big toot on the uh, on the fluba there. <laughs> uh, I think that was your bonus action. Maybe. Yes. I'm pretty yeah, sure so you still have a standard yeah. action. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. What else could I do? Hmm. I do. I do have a crossbow. I. I, I guess. I guess I'll just take take a pot shot with the um. <laughs> with my uh. With with my heavy crossbow then. Okay. Uh, which one? Uh, that you just rolled your damage. Oh, I did roll my damage. Oh, uh, I mean that is he did that actually goes with the attack as well. Nine. Uh, yeah, the yeah, attack. yeah, there's an attack, there's an attack on there too. Okay. All right. I'm uh, you bards. It it goes into the bear, but doesn't seem to. T- you seem to have hit more of a fat sack than anything vital. So you, Damn it. <laughs> you said you have a heavy crossbow, right? Yes, it's a heavy crossbow. I was just checking to see if bards were proficient with heavy crossbows. They are not. Alrighty. So, I believe that's your turn? Yeah. Unless you want to move somewhere? I, I, I think I have a meat around myself. Okay. <laughs> Next turn. Uh, that would make it my turn. Yeah. Can I get close enough in my movement action? How close can I get with my movement action? One, two. 
You one. can use dia going diagonals, moving one for me. Oh, okay. So one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, wait, I can only move six spaces, though. Where can I see that? I'm confused. Where can I see how many spaces I can move? Uh, as a tiny creatures normally can only move like uh, 25 or 20 feet. Alright. You also have a flight speed, though. I don't think you can fly with heavy armor, though. Um, or you can. Yeah. It's heavy armor if he was a human, but it's, it's, it's heavy still armor heavy because it's still chainmail. Or he can do it yeah, because. He can just fly because he's okay. a pixie. Because he's 10 feet, if not. Mm -hmm. ah. So yeah. Sorry, can I get? I can't tell if I can get close enough. One, two, two. Three, but we can't four, see the grid. Five. Can you turn the grid on? Yeah. I can't without spoiling the other encounter in this area. Oh. oh okay. that, one, that turning two, the grid three. on. The grid. One, two, see, you guys three. are actually on a token right now. One. That's what the ground is. Two. Three. Dang it! Gosh, dang it, Medi. One second. I, I okay. think I have. I think I have a solution for this. I don't think I can get quite close enough. I can get right up to the one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that would leave me ten. Uh, a space. Oh, more than a space away. Actually, I think I have something for that. One second. You don't. You. you second. Ranged weapons. I don't have ranged weapons. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I have it written down here. Class. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You could just hold your turn until they come closer. No, I can't actually do something. There uh, we go. There's your grid. All right. So. Yeah, filthy one, two, animals. Three, four, five, six. All right. So yeah, I'm going to need to use this if I want to attack something in this turn, which I do. Uh oh, I accidentally put Ed on the map grid. Hmm. <laughs> There you go, Ed. Now you're a token Wait, again. Wait, am I still good? Yeah, you're so fine. You're again. One, yeah, you, two, you three, four, five, six. All right, that's my movement. I am going to use this. The lunging attack. Okay. It gives me an extra five feet onto my attack for this. So... I my macros are broken when it comes to attack rolls, so I'm just going to need to roll this normally. Oh, I see what's going corner, on corner. here. Corner, corner. What? I see what's going on here. Launching. Uh, Wait, what? You confused me with what oh, you said. I'm nothing, nothing. Keep going. Uh, so that is plus, plus six to hit. There's a 14 hit. It hits. All right, then I deal 1d6 plus the superiority die I spent to do that. So 1d6 plus 1d8. Okay. Plus four, so so uh, fifteen damage. Alrighty. So I basically damn just it. Run. I put the bears on the, on the bears <laughs> on the map. <laughs> oh yeah, they are, aren't they? Run forward and smack a bear over the head with a stick. Okay. Uh... How much damage is that all over? Uh, 7 plus 8, so 15. Ooh, you... That bear did not like that hit. He... he uh, Behold my stick. <laughs> probably gonna target you. Eh, uh, that's fine. Alright, Ed, it's your turn. Alright, uh, what would I roll to, like, underhand chuck my dagger? Like, try to arc it so it doesn't know where the where that came from? You, you, you can't attack without losing stealth. Yeah, to attack. Right. Yeah, but you get, they don't really get... How about the sneak attack? Yeah, that so still get, that, your sneak attack just gives you more damage. I mean, yeah, I know, I'm just asking if I can sneak attack. I mean, yeah, yeah. they don't see you. Alright, they're, they're a bit distracted right now. Uh, I believe a dagger, if it doesn't have a thrown property, it does a d4 damage. Actually, uh, a dagger no, of normal. Gonna, like, a dagger dive, normal. I'm going to dive at it, because... Okay. Well, even still I'm starting don't. to realize how much damage I'm stacking into one stab, because it's arcane blade, as well as sneak attack. Okay. As well as being a poison dagger. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this goes. So what do I roll to attack? 
Just the weapon? Uh, yeah. I believe Generally, so. Yeah. You roll... You would roll the... Uh, you're proficient with it, so you should get a bunch of things to it. Uh, there is... So, do I hit? Yeah, yeah. because that's a d20 oh, plus 6. That's... Uh, and I think you have advantage if you're attacking without being seen. So, oh. uh, I then think. Both of those hit no matter what. Yeah. All right, and uh, should I just roll out the... Uh, you already, roll, it already the... rolled the damage. What damage. Oh, no, I mean the bonus damage from Arcane Blade. Yeah, because oh, yeah. Arcane Blade isn't a cannon one. So, yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Arcane Blade is an extra 1d4 ice. Okay. And then you also get an extra 2d6 to sneak attack. So, well, what uh, level of rogue are you? Well, uh, one. All right, then you'll get one d six. Sorry. Also, move up to where you're stabbing. Oh yeah, sure. That good? Ah uh, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. So, so... wait, 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 wait. Can he? Corner to corner. Fourteen damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, now it has to roll a save because of the poison effect. Uh, where did I put that note? On save. Uh, it has. What kind of save? Uh, Constitution has to beat 15. Get him, guys. You got this. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Did, it, did oh. it beat the 15? Oh my god. What is with these animals? It only needs to get 15. What happens if they fail? Uh, 2d10 poison damage over a minute. Alright. Does it immediately take into effect? It says over, it's a, over a minute, minute, so probably not. Uh, once the minute's up, probably is when it takes I'm gonna effect. say it yeah, does, because well, it rolled a fucking one. <laughs> oh, okay. And it oh, dies right. instantly. Nice. Nice. Oh <laughs> my god, wow! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, uh, more. How much Gino. damage? Did I just do 34 damage? Yes. So two, a guy just ran oh. up, hit a bear over the head with a stick, and then someone walks up and stabs it. And it just I collapses. imagine, like, at, you hit it over the head with a stick, it raises its head up, and like a fucking camera panning shot, it reveals the drow from the forest, who just takes their dagger and runs it under its throat, just completely spilling its entire fucking neck. Throat juice? Yeah, it spits it out its... And then it freeze frames, and the bear, as its head is like falling down, is just like, "Yup, that's me." <laughs> yeah, no, no, fire! I, I do a fire emblem crit frames, animation. I imagine as a like Persona Five uh, all out attack finisher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool! I still got it. All right, there's uh, all, right. all right. All right, whose turn is it next? Okay. Uh oh. Steve. Or sign shapeshifter. Steve. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whoo! Steve, go for the bear. <laughs> One that isn't dead. Oh, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. Coming through. I can't wait till Steve gets mauled by a bear. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna attack. I imagine Steve is just a level one fighter. He is. He is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's one corner bear's corner. gonna hit him, but he's gonna collapse. All right. Flair, do you have his uh, sheet that I sent you? Or did I not send uh, it to you? I, I put some of it in there. Uh, we're looking at uh, weapons. 2d6 damage for it. Oh, I mean, he has to hit. Yeah, uh, to hit. Let's see, what's, what's it for hit? Ooh. He didn't. He didn't. Wait, how does he have 2d6 <laughs> damage? Great, Great sword. sword. Oh, okay. Mm. He goes, huh! He just well, whiffs over its head. Well, I tried. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that's me. You might be wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> he's not proficient in it? It's okay, we'll I get mean, him still next. He still misses, but he's not even proficient? He should he's... be proficient. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be proficient. Steve, be the right. intern, is a weird character sheet because I, I said... There's a level one fighter that I sent. Human warrior foot soldier. Yeah, human warrior foot soldier. Mm-hmm. Where is that? Anyway. Either way, he doesn't hit. Yeah, he goes, huh. And just whiffs it. Like, he swings his sword like a helicopter over the bear's head. <laughs> well, it's it's okay, Steve, we'll get him next time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't hit us with that. <laughs> oh, I see the issue here. <laughs> I see the issue here. This is a 3.5 character sheet. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, not much. Not much different. 
Mm-hmm. I just needed I just needed random stats for a level. Yeah. All right. Your all right. Your move. Smooth. Well, uh, then in this case, I uh, I'll start this off with. It's... She so uh holds the entire deck up, and then uh some of the cards in between her fingers, and then tosses one into her other hand, and then she flicks it at the bear. It's not a real attack. (laughs) Oh, wait, actually, within 15 feet, so I have to move up first. So does she, like, fan the cards and catch three? Uh, Just one. Okay, just one. That's kind of cool. Just one and then tosses it at the bear. It now has disadvantage on all ability checks hmm. or attacks or anything like that. And the first attack against it has advantage. All right. Hmm. And uh, that's my turn, Flare. All right, guys, you got it. I believe right. in you. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the paladin who took front and center. <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> everyone There's else, moves, right. Everyone else moves ahead of him. Okay, hey All guys. Right. Uh, no, get behind. I'll be back here. All I'll right, go. I'll catch up. Let's see here. So, how do I roll for attacking? Uh, roll d20. You can, you, add the associates you to your at 90 proficiency if you're proficient. Tab. There should be an attack button there. Yeah. So, what's your strength? Wait, which uh, one do you want to attack with? Is 14. You would then you would roll a d20 and add four. Oh, I mean, it has. Why does all everybody right. else spear tab? Why does all their weapon tabs work when mine don't? All right, don't that is it. a glancing strike. Mm-hmm. For oh. me, glancing is half damage. Um, he has advantage. Oh, does he? Yeah, I'm retarded. Why does he have, why does yeah, he have he advantage? Does, he because does. that is because of that is what part. I used my turn on. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I, I zoned I, out. That completely. I zoned out. I blanked on that for a second. Sorry about that, smooth. Okay. I'm still getting used to advantage, okay? Fuck you. Okay. Four damage. Okay. Four damage. Okay. I poked it. <laughs> you you jab the bear in its eye. It it, it pisses eye juice. Oh. Ew, gross. Alrighty. Bear turn. Bear! bear turn. Um, Alright, so does a bear want to go for the person who's... Big freedom! <laughs> Where does a bear want to go for? How's he feeling? Mm. Oh no, Steve! Mm. S- Steve! No! Man, I, I can't believe I can't believe Steve's Steve fucking, fucking died. Dies. <laughs> we just gotta wait for these monsters to roll another one. Oh, That's thirteen hit Steve. Steve. What's his AC? Steve's AC. Let yeah. me open it. Uh, uh, what type of armor does he wear? Oh, he wears sold. It, it, it's oh just, fuck! It's, Never mind. Steve's fine. Steve has an AC of 17. Steve's that, oh, a- nice. that AC is calculated way differently in Pathfinder in 3.5. It doesn't matter. He has 17. He's strong. Fine, okay. <laughs> Wait, he goes, can't Steve. hit. He has to have something. Yeah, it's to keep the character alive. Mm-hmm. So the bear scratches down and it just takes off his armor. And it just goes... <laughs> As it moves closer. And, but you, you say, rrr, rrr, and I just imagine the sound Steve makes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what Steve makes forward. in retaliation. Yeah, I'm. I'm it's I'm, time! Uh, Guess whose turn it is? It's his turn! Oh, oh man! Yeah! Oh, what? Oh, okay. oh, guys! Oh, there's a fight going on! Half Congratulations! It's your, it's your turn! Congratulations! 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 Congratulations, Half Star! It's your turn. Mm-hmm. Is there enough space between the bear and our pixie here for me to move in between? Yes. <laughs> you can you can basically stand on Flair's inhabited spot and not yeah. in, not hit, 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 yeah. Flair is so small you can exist on the same space. Okay, I'm gonna move up. Yeah. Plus uh plus I can just float above you. I'm gonna I'm gonna move up to cover you and then I'm gonna take a swing. Alrighty. Man, I can't. This thing isn't Holy good. shit! Whoa. Nat 20. Oh. Yeah. Critical hit. No extra damage. <laughs> no extra crit damage. Okay, for me, I think you had anything think... in for crit damage. I, yeah, oh, I think you, that's, it's supposed that's, to have that's times two. Anyway, um, so you deal. Yeah, so you did 20 damage. Uh, do you uh, add no, your strength modifier to the You didn't even roll. 
but it did roll it for did your roll damage. damage. What? Do you, do you add strength modifier when do you does your strength fire also, modifier also get doubled when you roll damage? No. Okay, so it'd be twelve plus four. Yes, it does. Every it does? basically oh. everything that isn't. I thought strength is added doubled. last. I thought okay, that's just a because no, all your dice rolls get doubled. Oh, okay, then that's just mm. twenty. I damage. thought strength comes afterwards. Yeah, but it also gets doubled. <laughs> I'm confused. That's twenty oh, damage. Yeah, it does include sneak attacks in fifth edition. Basically yeah. everything. Uh, and all extra damage dice from whatever means get doubled with a crit, basically. In fifth five, to my understanding. You I chopped the shit out of that fucking bear. <laughs> I did it. Right. Okay. You, you so, yeah, lost one of the bears' is, arms. So that's sixteen damage. Its arm goes flying off into the fucking woods. And it, sta- and it stands up on its hind legs and howls. Back, you beast! Back! It is now Bramard Simon's Eugene Hawkins' turn. You don't need to be is so rude to the bear. Bramard? What, what, what nice. it's still alive? <laughs> yes. It's still alive, it's just... gravely wounded. Mm, can can I uh, can I st- can I still take a shot at the crossbow with this amount of bodies? I'm always, okay. So I'm iffy on terms. Does that count as firing into melee, or what's that exactly mean? Firing into melee isn't a thing in this system. Well, don't, I thought you take disadvantage if there are enemy, if there are people right next to the person you're trying to shoot from range or something. Oh. Okay, I'm conf- no. I, I'm not used, not familiar with five E. I think no. you might be thinking of firing when you're up close. That's probably it. I, I thought there was a penalty for firing when someone was in the way, because I know there weren't uh, uh, previous editions. Well, uh, I, guess, I guess it's just time to just shoot again, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty. That hits. You, you knock the bear in the chest, and he, he stumbles back down, and he looks groggy, he looks tired. But he's Why still won't moving. You die! <laughs> Scott, it's your turn. Hmm. Uh, what does it cost? Uh, it, what? So dropping an item is a free action, right? Yeah. What is drawing? What about drawing the hand axe at, on my hip? Is that? Is that is, would that be I a bonus? Just do that. Just yeah, do it. it. This in this system, drawing weapons isn't a thing that you have to worry about. Okay. I'm just gonna. Yeah. You unless can you're drawing multiple things. You can switch weapons on the fly. On the fly, so. unless you're pulling out two weapons at once. Can, I get, may cry can I get close enough? Is that d- dead bear's body a hindrance? No. Alright, just... It's some, still registered on top of me, but whatever. Uh, Because it came into the world early, or later than you did. That's true. Whoops. Uh, is that hit? Yes. S- slam a ha- hand axe into the s- bear's side. With a juicy crunch, you hear the the skull of the bear crack, but it's still standing. Oh my God. This bear just doesn't want to die. <laughs> it is now Ash's turn. Well, uh... I, I guess second verse, same as the first. Let's go. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> All right. No, I don't. I I still get. My, uh... The bear is not paying attention to you, so yeah, it's still sneak attack. And well, that's so you, gain, you, gain, you gain sneak attack if you hit an enemy, and there are, and there's other allies within five feet of it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that's it's dead. <laughs> Do you? Use, had, what's the had, use on your um? Arcane or spell, whatever the thing you were doing before. Oh, it just stays. I, you just jumped on the back of a... the bear and you drag your uh, knife into his neck, and he just falls forward on. Con- Christ, I forgot how good the stagger was. That doesn't sound right. I'm just, gonna po- I'm just going to poof it back into the ether, okay. and uh, can I just teleport the dagger I just buried back into my hand and also poof that out? I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah. The maid goes forward, collects the bolt that, uh, um, uh, shoot, what's his Bernard. Name? Bernard shot, and also the card that she threw. I'm just gonna walk 
back to my horse and put the pick up the bow staff I was using before and put it back on the horse Bolts, and put sir. it inside like thank the... you thank you very much curtsies gosh I'm losing the voice but I'm really tired god damn it <laughs> if need be we can stop when we get to the dungeon uh, I, I want to keep do going do so much fucking damage I mean, rogues can get insane damage going. Am yeah, I just they, getting lucky? they are just they are known DPS. throughout, like, everything as the DPS. <laughs> Alright. Though so they can be glass tanks sometimes. Glass <laughs> tanks? If, I, if you roll bad. <laughs> glass <Yeah>. cannon. Glass <laughs> tanks? <laughs> yes, like a fish. What? <laughs> oh, there, there they what? go. Just moving You're on. Just making words up. Bye, bears. Bye. Damn, no, we should Waves. take one with us. Waves Carry. politely as the bears fly away. <laughs> Goodbye, bears. <laughs> All right, so you guys continue uh, down the path, I assume? Great work, everybody. I play a yeah. game of disappearing bears. I guess I'll just hack a piece off and chew on it on the walk over. <laughs> Which one? Uh... Actually, I poisoned both of these. Never mind. <laughs> That's why I asked. Man. <laughs> Right, yeah, so I kind of I cut a one. piece off. I put the meat up to my mouth. And I realize, oh right, chuck it over my shoulder. I guess those. Uh, I, I I guess those. Uh, I, I guess those high high elves definitely know. Uh, <laughs> man, just just proving those high high elves point of that the drows aren't aren't. Uh... <laughs> All right, so do you guys continue down your regular path? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. can I I guess scout ahead for the group? Sure. Or, uh, uh, that'd be more searching, perception. I believe. Perception. Oh, is it perception? Okay. Perception. My perception. My perception's okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Oh. I guess I'm better at this than I thought. I'm just gonna I, put. I, I'm gonna put everyone's tokens back here. All right. Alright. And Ed gets ahead, and he sees basically. The most standard version of a uh, carriage robbery. Oh, yeah. Look, see, see, see. There's two guys there, and then there's like. like I guess I'll just walk away. Like, hey, this this damn. Are you? Stressor. You're not gonna go to the party. You're just gonna. <laughs> just start to run yeah, forward. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, uh, hold on. I, I need to. Uh, I mean, I can't. There we go. Hey, uh... Can I get an, uh... Robbery, I think? Ahead? Criminals! Cool! Criminals! Low lives! <laughs> yeah, I guess let's, uh, go take care of that. In the name of Tear, I will undo these beings. Alright, so what you guys stumble upon... Yo, you steal, <laughs> steal this shit? Is I, I, I don't know. I'm is so like sorry. a very star. the The cart itself looks ancient, almost like it's made of like creaky wood. You, you assume you can see inside of it, and sitting on top of the uh, what, what, what's what's the the rider seat? I don't know if that has a specific uh, name. carriage. The, like the carriage seat where the rider sits. Yeah, sure. You yeah, know, like I'm the sure imagine like. A shittier version of the Red Dead Redemption fast travel carriage, <laughs> and the the horse in front is looks malnourished and starved. And standing before them is uh, uh there's a a young, very like silky skin looking girl, who's like cowering in fear from two mercenaries who are surrounding the carriage, and then one of them approaches you guys. Because of the map shenanigans, they got moved. Map player. Okay. Give me a sec. And also, anyone who was at the bar roll. Roll. And when anybody was at the bar, what? Anyone who went to the bar and looked at the wanted signs. Ah. Uh, oh, what do we roll? We. Uh, I, I didn't that... look at anything. So I was gonna say memory, but that's not what it is. I mean, I did write. It'd it be down a general intelligence card. check usually. Yeah, general intelligence check. Non intelligence nice. save. Oh. Nice. How do I... oh so... If he's not proficient in it, it's the same exact thing. I th no, I'm 
Uh, I thought you had a level of rogue. I thought they had proficiency in that. I don't know. Do I... I did write it down on a piece of paper. Do I get some kind of bonus there? Uh, Either way, uh, no. I don't know how multi-classing works with skill. I'll give you advantage on that, but even with advantage, you kind of schlubbed it up a little bit. You didn't write All right. you didn't draw the picture perfectly, but Flair recognizes her slash her immediately. <clears throat> it is, if you remember the girl with two axes, she approaches you and she goes, Hey, uh, you guys should, uh, keep moving along. There's nothing to see here. We're just, uh, acquiring some assets right now. Oh, and no, I, oh, I know what I'm seeing, Two Axe Sally. <laughs> what, <am laughs> what, are, what are we seeing? <laughs> two Axe? Oh. You can see from the carriage, the girl who is the, uh, who ass you assume to be the person who, like, guides the carriage is shaking her head no. Like, seriously no. Hmm. Like, don't leave. Yeah, like, please help. Since I've, uh, since Flair's character kind of blurted that out, can I try a little sleight of hand, just like, nick their leg, pant leg, with the tip of the dagger as you're I kind of walk by? You're not close enough for that. Yeah, you're not close enough for that. Um, right. can I unsheath my blade and try to intimidate them? I mean, you can. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pull out my long sword, and I'm gonna point it at them, and I'm gonna roll intimidate. One second. <clears throat> also, uh, I heard that we were allowed to have out. three magical items. Yes. If you thieves know what's best for you, you would scram now, or justice will be dealt with now. Now. Uh... Oh damn, that's pretty good. Justice will be dealt dealt upon you. <laughs> L listen, don't speak for all of us here. I don't want to get into fights I don't need. Hey, my inventory's back. Oh, oh all right, Mister. You 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 don't need to get so hostile. I'm I'm gonna back down. All right, I'm gonna put one of my axes. She's got two axes. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 not one of your axes. Both of them. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, and she throws a second axe. What, wh who are you guys? Who, we're just... I'm with the Imperium Police. Guard, Royal Guard. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> and let's, what would I roll to put these shackles on her? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I'm pretty sure she has to be unconscious for that. I mean, she's she is intimidated at the moment. Mm -hmm. So she, uh, if you walk up and put them on, you you probably have a. I was time. gonna say, I was gonna say, let's tell them to give up their life of thievery, try to make them change their ways. I'm I'm arresting for now. <laughs> All right, I mean, you, I'm not gonna stop you. I, I don't, I'm not gonna hold you what against that. That's fine with me. I mean, you just put them on her. <laughs> All right, fucking, well, you're under arrest. <laughs> All right, you, stop, you, you the criminal the scum. Stop, stop resisting. What are you going to do, turn me in? You don't have yes. a heart for that. I, I do, though. This, this is what I live for. We have an eyewitness right here. She can testify <laughs> against you. Uh, she's not going to be testifying anything after this. And she raises her hand and snaps really loudly. And then from the forest... Oh, God, no. Oh man! I oh. Never <laughs> oh. Okay. You thought you were ambushing me? I'm ambushing you guys. She You're says, still under arrest. Excuse <laughs> me. I'm just. A, I'm handcuffed. Oh, excuse me. I'm just a thief. I was hired by these people. Can I leave? No. I'm, You're excuse a me. <laughs> just, just, just the two love people. You're what? <laughs> I was me, what? I was going to put these other cuffs around her ankles. But now, nah, it's going on her ankles. Cuff, cuff. <laughs> oh, come on! Why would you? Why would you cuff my ankles like this? <laughs> they offer no additional effect. And then one of the bandits from Can't the woods run. jumps up onto the carriage and grabs the uh, the grabs the girl up there hostage. Come on, man! I just work here. Cause you. Now listen here. You release our boss. This lady gets it. Hmm. Hmm. I've got no, a counter. You leave her alone. 
Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh. I'm pretty sure with persuasion you have to offer something as well. Leave now and we will spare all of your lives. Let her go. That's You're tight. dealing with us, not her. Look at the charisma tank over here. What's your charisma stat? 20. I do 20. What? Half out maxed out already. Two to charisma. Oh, oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> he hops down. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really easily convinced. <laughs> the situation is diffused instantly. I mean, like, <laughs> we don't even like our boss all that much. <laughs> no, wait a second, she know. says. She says. Say while well, she's what? fucking like. If you all leave now, give up the life of crime. We will spare your lives. Uh, we will not arrest any of you. You are free to go. Excuse me? <laughs> just promise to give the up fuck the life you just say? The fuck? Speak for yourself. <laughs> Alright, they all throw down their weapons, which are just, like, rusty, shitty daggers and, <coughs> like, fucking awful. But, like, one of them has a bow, which looks like it was freshly car like... Yeah, like, 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 like it was just like like it was just a bunch of sticks binded together, <laughs> and they just bolt. Of course, a bunch of low lives like them would be using such such garbage tools. I never imagined I'd be running with a bunch of low lives. <laughs> I guess there is no honor among thieves. Uh, yes, and, and that's why I'm not a thief. <laughs> By the way, I was lying when rest. I said I was a thief. I, I was going to try and get in with them and uh, save you guys from the inside. Where's the other one, Matt? Let's just slap that deception. No. Oh. Uh. I, I, I was going to help you guys. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying that to? Me and player, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. I'm not actually a criminal. <laughs> you're like, hold on, I'm a thief. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> no, it's just a jape. It's just a jape. Excuse me, as you're putting the handcuffs on. Mm. <laughs> I would believe Wait, another the, set of dimensional shackles. The High King would not choose a low life to come on this mission. Yeah, yeah, you're right there. Okay. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my God, I didn't know. I was just riding through the woods. Me and Sally here. I was uh, on my way to make some deliveries, and then these guys just jumped me from the woods, and I had no idea what I was gonna do. Hey, you and you and Sally. Uh, nothing in a day's work, and I, I, I like I like wrap my arm around. <laughs> local man who did nothing. <laughs> yes, local man who did nothing takes credit for everything. <laughs> Useless man it adds nothing to society. <laughs> but well, that's uh, very nice. Is she like like? Pinches your arm and like, uh, like goes underneath it to get away. <laughs> I uh, is there is there any way I can make it up to you guys? Are you guys are you guys going anywhere? Uh, me and Sally here, we can we we go all across the continent and, and we're, the, we're one of the fastest travelers all around. Hey, do you sell anything? Uh, well, I am the merchant, so uh, she op she turns around and she hops out of her shack, and then she hops out with a bag of stuff, and she's like, I got all, I got all. Stuff. Uh, yeah. nothing, nothing too amazing right now. Uh, I got swords. Work? I got, uh, I got, uh, and she, she reaches and she pulls out a buckler. I got a buckler, and she puts it back in. She reaches it again, and I got a, and she pulls out this big vial of something, and she's, like, I got this. I haven't opened it yet, but I have it. And she puts <laughs> it back in the bag. I need some rope. Do you have a license to sell these products? I have a license to sell all around, and she reaches in the bag and she pulls out a piece of paper. Make a knowledge arcana roll on it. Is that a, is that still a thing? Um, knowledge, knowledge it's itself arcana, isn't, but arcana, yeah, it's, arcana is still okay. arcana. Yeah. All right. Yep. It looks like everything clear. Everything right. signs up. She's everything like, looks out. We're good. <clears throat> Gonna she, sheath my blade. We're all good to go. Can I get some rope? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. And she reaches inside the bag and she pulls out a 50-foot hemp rope. Uh, thank you. How much is this uh, going to ride me? Oh, um, it, it's fine. In fact, like, I noticed you guys, uh, you you must have been riding for a little bit. It's been, like, a few hours for you guys at the point. Is there enough room on your cart for more? <laughs> oh, we've absolutely. Been, we've been walking I, for a while. Come around to the back and I'll, I'll let you guys in. Uh, can I look through your weapons? Uh, can, sure. Can, 
And can we sell these two axes? I say, picking up the two, two oh, axes. Oh, sure thing. Two I'll, two I'll, axes. I'll give you one gold piece for both the axes. Thank you. <laughs> Selling <Screeching>. her weapons. <laughs> uh, are short swords still finesse weapons? I believe short swords are finesse. Are. Yes. Uh, can I? Lo- Does she have any nice short swords? Uh, they're kind of all kind of rusty. So you can tell that she's kind of like picked up from any fights in the past. Uh, is can I maybe get um a little bit of compensation for, you know, I'm the one who alerted them to this whole situation. I mean, I got uh, she reaches inside and she's like, I got this a couple short a couple sword. of gold pieces will do. I mean, I can give you some silver. Okay. You literally just ask her, hey, a couple hundred bucks will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> she reaches in and she pulls out like five or six silver pieces and gives them to you. Thanks. Now, yeah, if you guys want to take a quick rest in the back, me and Sally will pull you up ahead. Where are you guys headed? Ah. Uh, temple. What's the temple's name again? Uh, the Dragon Trial Temple. I mean, I'm still not sure. We're we heading to the Dragon, Dragon Trial, Trial Temple. temple. I'm going to so, pull up a little compass and show her where it's pointing to. I'm still not even sure what country we're in. Oh, you guys, uh, right now, you guys are on the board of Alistaria. And... How many gold pieces? Uh, silver pieces? Like five. Uh, five. five. Here's right. five bucks. <laughs> Bitchin'. Alrighty. Uh, five, uh, five, well, I guess more uh, like 50 bucks. Dollars. So you guys, are, you guys are the heroes, then. Yep. Yes, I am indeed she, a hero. She walks around and gets on top of the crate, and she's like, alright, come on, get on <sighs> in. Happily hop in. Yeah. I've ta- just... I, I, I've used the rope to just better, even more, more efficiently apprehend this criminal. It's <laughs> it's overkill at this point. Is Monica getting up next to him, riding alongside him? <laughs> you're gonna are you gonna do that? I'll just uh, I'll sit on the front. There there there, there seems to not be that much room. No, there's not Actually, that that's much a horrible room idea. That's a horrible idea. I'll take the back. You're not gonna ride up front with her. Okay. Uh, I'm waiting for everyone who wants to get in to get in. Oh, yeah, I'm going to grab the criminal too and push her in as well. Okay. No, so I'm there... going to be riding on my horse alongside. Okay. I can't. What are you? What are you horse. doing, uh, Flair? Or uh, no, in. no, no. I'm getting in, just monitoring that criminal. Okay, so everyone who steps sure in, making sure she doesn't escape those ropes or those everybody... shackles. <laughs> Everyone who steps inside notices something very strange about this cart. Yeah. It is indeed bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. And it's a mimic. (laughs) (laughs) Once you step inside, it's like night and day. Like, if on the outside was a shitty wooden cart... The inside is the velvet room from Persona 4. The inside is a limousine velvet room. Oh, oh, man, I can't can't believe we're in the carriage dimension. But uh, all around are are bookcases upon bookcases. Uh, there's a there seems to be an alchemist lab and uh, just a lot of really luxury looking things. But she uh, turns to you in like a taxi. She slides open the the window on the thing. You know, uh, you know, like the taxi windows, like yeah, yeah. And she's just like, alrighty, so uh, this will be probably a a few hours or a few day trip. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut that down a bit. I, are you guys good with that? I think I'm good with that. Poor Campbell made happen to leave three horses. Yeah, <laughs> they're smart. They'll find their way back. I'm just going to zone out and do my little trance thing and rest. Okay. Let's. Uh, I. <laughs> About let's how see. long is is the trip going to be now? You know, I just realized I I didn't have a chance to turn this criminal in. <laughs> I, I I mean know they're exact, in the cart. I know exactly what I'm going to do. The I, past I said time. I pushed them into the cart. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know, but like I'm, it's going to be a while before I can like return to town and turn this criminal in. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but uh, I I know exactly what I'm just, this. I'm just carrying I, this low life around. Yeah, they're they're pretty much tied up forever. They aren't going to. Yeah, get I mean, up, if you just want to leave them there, I'll wait for you guys outside the dun- dungeon. But uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to destroy right. But, uh, that's, that's no, fine. I, citizen. I, I I know exactly what what the play to pass the time, time performance. <laughs> oh oh man. damn! 
time Gosh. for my four hour zone out. Playing on so those bagpipes. How long is the trip going to be now? Uh, uh, give me one second. Because before the trip even begins, she looks over to the maid. Hey, uh, you, uh, maid. My name is Lillian. Lillian, that's a lovely name. And she reaches inside her bag and she pulls out this weird, like, velvet rope. And she tosses you an end of it. Catch it. Dexterously. Uh, Please uh, tie this to your horse or wherever, your saddle. Somewhere on the horse and make sure it's attached to the other horses. Gains gains a weary look, but does so. Very Uh, uncomfortable all of the sudden. She then hops off her uh, off the carriage really quick and goes around to the and shuts the door and then she ties the end of the rope to the end of her uh, uh, cart. Sorry, that was me just forgetting the name. (laughs) And then she hops back on. Thank you for taking the Merchant Express. Holds on for dear life. And then she whips her horse and almost like that. It's so jarring how quick it is. But immediately, you guys find yourself before the face of the monster. Damn. Okay. A part of me was hoping I would have time to get a short rest in. I mean, the people inside, feels like five hours. On the outside, like that. Ah, okay. (coughs) All right, shit. It's five hours. That's enough to get a short rest in. I get my long rest. Uh, This... One second, I gotta go back and grab all your characters. <laughs> Man, I can't. I, I I can't believe everyone in the card had had to hear five hours of bagpipes. <laughs> I, I was right through it. I the music shit. of the nobles. Five, five, five hours. Oh, wait, no. Five hours of of twenty of. I had an hour. Yeah, oh, good. Cool. Good. You brought you brought my uh, you brought the low life that I'm taking. Oh yeah, I'll I'll, I'll look Technically. after him while you guys go in. All right, great. Uh, I'm gonna need those uh, cuffs back. You think you can handle with just rope? Oh yeah, I don't think he's going anywhere. She? She? Yeah. Damn it! It's <coughs> been a thousand in... years. We need to get these pronouns right. <laughs> I'm not the one in those ropes. All right, <laughs> I take I take the dimensional the shackles off of the criminal, <sighs> just leaving her with the rope. Okay, and then she she re ropes her up a few times. <laughs> Alrighty, and then I'm just gonna put her in here for safety. And she goes to, like, one of the back rooms of the cart, opens it, and it's like this really long, almost endless closet, and she just throws them in there. Oh man, the closet dimension. And then she shuts that. Iguanas? Uh, don't worry about those things yet. I feel, I, I feel like I should worry about those things right now. <laughs> well, not yeah. yet. You guys need to climb up to the mountain. How, wond- how wondrous. To teleport for the first time, not only once, but twice in the same day. So oh, don't worry about that. Huh, Lillian? Okay, I ha- Oh, wait, how long does it take me to teleport to my weapon? Oh, be short. Fuck, can I do- uh, in- Oh, I need to concentrate for an hour, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna just throw my dagger up the mountain and think really hard. <laughs> This is the this is the longest running fucking. <laughs> this is the worst version of the Final Fantasy fifteen teleports. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, you got. It. And as she drops you off, she like, I'll be waiting for you guys at the at the foot of the mountain. If anything happens, don't don't be afraid to come knocking. You I owe you guys all. All right, I guess I'll just bury one. Of, I'll, I guess I'll just tell her to hold on to one of my daggers. I'll give Alrighty. a tip. I'll give a tip of a couple of gold. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. Also, just so the people know, inside the cart that was also extremely fast because that was about a two-day journey that she did in five hours. Okay. Neat. But to smooth, it was like that. It was. She That's why she a... called it teleportation and not fast travel. Yeah. All right. I assume you guys uh, climb the mountain. There's no need to roll because there's nothing really on the mountain itself. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right. And you approach the entrance of a structure built into a ca built into the cavernous mountain. It's hard to tell what it is at first, but it is the head of an ancient dragon. A dr not Alice, which is weird, but something that is shaped like the head of an ancient dragon. Those who have spent any time in Alistaria know this almost instantly. And those who have not could probably be informed. It has large fangs, which are slightly open, big enough for a human to pass through if need be, but the, there is scurrying sounds among the, the shifting stones. Are there any scales left on the uh, remains? Uh, yes. Well, can we tell what color it is? No. Okay. They're also as big as you. Oh. A single uh, scale is the size of a normal humanoid. Okay, I was just curious how what color that might have been. Alrighty. Now you guys need to find entrance into the mouth specifically. Mm -hmm. Also, everyone's compass is pointing directly into the mouth, just so like you guys know exactly that you need to go in there. Uh, I only get I only get two of these a day, so uh, don't put this to waste. All right. Mommy. Wait, what? Just to turn around, wait, huh? What are you doing? I'm doing a bit of a. That's not an answer. What are you doing? What? What? Is that a six? You are fucking invisible. <laughs> Your invisibility only works on you, not others. Oh, it, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh. I guess you're invisible now. I guess I'm yeah. fucking invisible. <laughs> Don't put this to waste. Vanishes. Don't put this to waste. <laughs> <laughs> Vanishes. <laughs> oh. Holy shit, are you invisible? I mean, you don't I even need so to make a saving throw, it's just oh. a spell you do. Huh. Wait, can I... Wait, since he became invisible, can I use disguise self to make myself invisible? No. What? That is not how that because works Because if all. I disguise myself as Flair, who is invisible... <laughs> <laughs> no. Universe brain! <laughs> No, I think we have Absolutely. to ask the locals what's going on. <laughs> it was worth a shot. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, I'm, I'm going to, like, fly around the place while invisible. I guess I'll just hang out Okay, here. flying around inside the mouth or around the mouth? A uh, bit of both. Well, which one do you do first? Uh, outside, I guess. Okay, on the outside, mm -hmm. you notice stone or realistic stone statues of what appears to be lizard men surrounding the temple itself. Oh no! All right, anything else of note? Uh, if you uh, roll a perception check. All right. <clears throat> okay, that's that's good enough. Mm -hmm. Everything here is breathing. You and the dragon, you and the statue. You and All the of the lizard men are breathing, and there is a faint breeze coming from the nostrils of the dragon mouth. Oh. All right, now uh, gonna flutter down. The group. Okay. Uh, uh, guy, don't want to alarm you, but uh, this this place is alive. <laughs> what mm, part of it specifically? Uh cave is breathing. Statues <laughs> are breathing. <laughs> cave, cave is breathing. <laughs> and the statues are also breathing. I'm just going to pull out my crossbow and just shoot a statue at random. Oh. Okay. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm, t I'm like, uh, mm, 40 javelins! <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of just like, uh, bum, seems bum, legit. <laughs> Alright. You don't so, need to roll to hit inanimate objects. You don't need to roll to hit inanimate objects. So you just do immediately. It hits, and then from, it, from the... Which one do you shoot? I'm gonna say you need me use to, the uh, uh, the pointer or uh, ping. All right, 
It hits, and a hideous scream comes from the statue as it falls to the ground. And as it falls to the ground, the other statues begin to peel from their stone essence and jump down as well. Oh, oh I hear something bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... Something doesn't sound right, guys. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> this one crawls down the tooth, the other two crawl down the side of them, and they, they draw javelins preparing to fight. Oh no. Alright, just like a big aww. Uh, aww. Uh. These. I was going. Okay! <laughs> that was uh, quite an adventurous attack you did there. Why? Puzzle <laughs> failed. <laughs> I, well, I didn't see if it was legit. I guess it is. Don't Are open that chest, I can hear it breathing, it's a mimic! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I gotta open this. What if I see. shoot it with an arrow, though? <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Oh. Scaly, half-stone lizard men approach the party wielding javelin. Am I still invisible? <laughs> uh, how long does invisibility last? Uh, I, check. I also assumed you disabled it to tell the party. Or unless I mean, they were just like, what's this voice in my head? All these <laughs> voices inside, voices of, my inside of my head. head. Last same for place. concentration up to an hour. Okay, so you can still be invisible if you want. Alright, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, once you hit something, your invisibility goes away. Alright. Let's just materialize that dagger of venom. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, no, I bent the page! No! You have a physical book? Yes. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna have everyone roll initiative, because... <laughs> there's not oh, much else finally. to do. Finally, this is the second initiative roll. There we go. Oh man, wow. That's Eleven. ten better. Right better, man. Alright, Steve. Let's alright, Steve, let's see what your turn's looking like. <laughs> oh. You now Dude, I'm the flip. shit one. Uh, I've caught the bad. Oh wow. Oh, this like exactly flipped. They don't yeah. have any. All right. How do you improve? How do you improve your initiative dice? You don't really. You just have a d. You do a d twenty plus your dex modifier, unless you have magic things. Yeah, unless you get lucky and have really high dex. So then, have retarded dex. The highest you can really get is a plus five because you can right. go up to twenty. Getting a plus four. Oh, let me make sure I have all our set up. But it, it is missed first. Okay. You first, Black Prince. The first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to move to my right here and stand in front of our bard, giving him protection from the right side. Okay. And then I am going to cast Armor of Agathus. All right, what does that do? A predictive magical force surrounds you, manifesting as a special frog, getting temporary 5 HP. Okay. Alright! If a creature hits you with melee attack while you have these hit points, the creature takes 5 cold damage. Oh, okay. okay. That's gonna be useful. And I'm just gonna factor in one of these guys got hit for 8 damage. Alright, these guys are actually a lot squishier than I Casual arrow. They hit him right in like the chest, and he's not happy about it. So, is that everything the the Black Prince is doing? Yep. End my turn. Alrighty. The lizard men approach. This one can only get this far. <clears throat> this one is like jungle gymming through. The teeth? Yeah. That's like, just really cool. in and out. Yeah. Ooh. Imagine if I had played a lizard man. This would have been really awkward. And this one climbs down and takes a swipe at the, the man in front of him. Which is you, Bored, I believe. <clears throat> uh, Alright, he has disadvantage, though, due to the cloak I have. Okay. 
What is Let me look up, pull up my AC again. Ba -ba -ba. Whoops. What is there? Okay. 17. Disadvantage? Yeah. All right, yep. Their claws swing in and tink directly off of you. Nice. Nice. And they have all made their movement, and but they are now surrounding you guys. Hmm. Hmm. Who is next? That's me. Gamble maid. The gamble maid. The gamble maid. Lillian. I know. Oh, no, I know. Oh, you remembered her name. Wonderful. <laughs> I like that. She, I like to imagine she went freaking. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. And everyone's I know how like, "Thanks, oh, work." <gasps> freaking. I I just kind of assumed she he was like everyone else, just saying that it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh no, mm. my turn. No, he was just my saying, turn. Just keep, "Stay behind." And I him. want it now. Um. One was the one that uh, was hit. It was the this one. That one, yeah. The one that was crawling between teeth. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna flick one of my cards. Uh, to, no wait, this is two-handed weapon, so I have to hold deck with one hand a different way. Toss one back into the other hand and toss it as just a regular attack straight into its face. Okay. Definitely hits. Oh, nice. Nice. That is a damage, just straight? Uh, yes. Wait, how do no you have special a, effect. How do you have a plus nine to hit? Because this... This, uh... Wasn't made the best. It says I can add my... With, with the specific archetype that I took, it says I add charisma to to everything involving cards, including my combat cards. All right, but yeah, you... What card did you throw? Uh, it doesn't matter. All right, you throw out an ace of clubs, and it lands right in between the eyes of the lizard man, causing him to fall face forward into the stone statue and busting his nose on it a little bit. Nice. He's now kind of dangling there. He's not having a good day. An arrow, now a card. And now for just a spear. To, trying to worship our dragon, you know, having a good old time. And all of a sudden, oh, God, come out of nowhere. Are right, you going to get above him? Yeah, uh, flag above him. Oh, did you want to do a movement or anything, Smooth? No, I'm good. Okay. There's only one thing that I can do as a bonus action, Ooh. but I don't need to do it right now. Ten. All right, you miscalculate your swing, and you just get nothing but teeth. Well, he yeah. ha he hangs there like. Uh. I was invisible too. I'm gonna say that you didn't turn uninvisible yet. All right. But you got his attention because he heard just tank. He's like, shit! Steve's I have strike. miscalculated my strike. <laughs> what will Steve do? Uh, Steve, help? <laughs> just, just see, see well, if I'm not visible. Okay, I saw a movement for a second, I thought that was Steve retreating. No, that was the merchant. <laughs> I know, I know, it's just like, oh no, Steve. <laughs> I, I got you, boss. I assume boss is here. <laughs> I heard a tank over well, here. Well, you made an oh. attack. That means you're not invisible anymore. <laughs> no, no, I said specifically because it didn't connect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he swings and he buries his great axe into the same tooth. Huh. Don't worry, boss. I got your back. Tink. You're attacking this tooth, right? <laughs> Steve, I'm attacking the tooth. 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's made two moves and they both missed. I feel like I'm playing Dark Heresy all over again. Well, it is your turn. Speaking Steve. Oh. Uh, can I just kind of just waltz over here and just stick this lizard in the throat like a pig? Oh, oh yeah, we just all You're standing on top of Steve. <laughs> Whatever, he didn't matter. <laughs> I mean, technically this map is a little fucked because I couldn't get the angle right to get the, yeah. the scale, so I can say that you're standing besides. Yeah, can I, can I just, like, stick him in the Yeah, throat, we're at like, a platforming pig? level right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, 22. You hit. Yeah, you that's imagine. a fucking... You just... He looks up after his groggy experience, he hears tank, tank, and then knife in the brain. <sighs> you deserve a medal! <laughs> and then he just limps. Drops Nine. the javelin and limps on the fucking teeth. No. Okay, was that so hard? Nine you deserve damage. a medal! And I... I'm here to finish the job I started. <laughs> <laughs> the you deserve a medal just comes out of the ether for you. And his blood leaks down the tooth. It is now Scott's turn. Hmm. I, should I just like place myself over here beside Steve? Mm -hmm. I mean, on him is fine as well. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm already, going. You just met him, and you're already riding. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, my Pact of the Blade feature to summon my weapon. Okay. My actual weapon, and in my hand appears a sword hilt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> that space, and then I was gonna. Walk, walk, walk over, walk over here, and I'm gonna hit him with the hand axe in my offhand, so I have disadvantage on that roll. Is this? Okay. Uh, I don't want to spoil the surprise for him. I remember you said battle master. Mm, it looks like right. that's probably Ooh. not the case. Ooh, four. Uh, I doubt it'll change anything, but that's like a plus six. But that's out ten. But I, I already know that's a mess. Is that that's your hand fine. axe? Uh, yeah, because. Yeah. I mean, do, should I try to hit somebody with the cross guard on my sword from the sword hilt? What's the bonus on that? Uh, it'd be a plus six. Because it's also marked as... Okay, yeah, no. Uh, you take a swing and you just slightly miscalculate it, and you were... It Could I try and hit the... someone with the, cro with the uh, cross guard on my sword? It's like you're swinging blindly or something. Hmm. Alright. It is now... Is that your, is that your turn? Uh, depends. Could I try to hit someone with the cross guard of the sword? I mean, yeah. Okay, what would I roll for this, specifically? I mean, it'd uh, just be an attack roll. Strength. Right. Sh yeah, strength. So, it's a I'm gonna say two. 1d4 minus 1 damage, plus your strength. Alright, so... Because it's just a blunt fucking object. <laughs> Alright, that's a nat 20. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess their heads just that hit now. Hmm. So, so, whoops, slash. I keep forgetting. Nice. So two plus four minus one is three plus my strength of two five damage. You <laughs> <laughs> bust his nose. He yeah. has no idea what the fuck you did he, to him. He's so confused. As I just bring down. The axe. He didn't notice the cross guard. The fucking my sword hilt coming at him. You're like He's... your axe came up for a slice, and making him jump up as you brought the hammer down. Mm. Board, board, board is your character just just the start is just insert starting class from Dark Souls one where they use a broken <laughs> sword hilt. Uh, yeah. Now anyway, Bernard Bard. Simmons, Eugene Hawkins, sir. Oh man. Man, okay. I, uh, let's, let's see here. Uh, so, oh, so, so sorry, what's all? So, 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 what's uh? Out of all these lizard lizard guys, like which ones are still standing? Uh, or are all of them still standing? All of them are still standing. I'll, I'll put an extra. Yeah, except for the one that we super murdered. Except for the one that you guys all fucking ganged up on. <laughs> uh, what's the second attack on it? Hmm. Third. Okay. I. <laughs> I, I I know exactly. Uh, the um the one like uh, right in front uh, there at like the like at the middle of the teeth, like you know in between there. Yeah, you're right there. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna slap him with a uh, vicious mockery because that can affect you. You just have to hear it. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I need to look up a vicious mockery if you add your spellcasting modifier. The what damage? Yeah, I. 
almost definitely no. Uh, no, it's damage. No, you just, just do a one d four. Yeah, it's just a d four. And they take disadvantage on their next attack roll. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, uh, it's rolled. Wisdom uh, save. Yeah. They're not smart. Yeah, they're That's not different smart. than wisdom. Yeah. They're foolish. Damn. They're yeah. lizards. Mm. They have tiny lizard brains. Well, they're foolish lizards. <laughs> All right, what's the DC say? DC check? Uh, fourteen. It yeah, it's fourteen. Definitely yeah. fail. <laughs> he gets another it. nat one. <laughs> well, time to yeah roll that damage rate, which is D four. One D four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one D. Three. You take three All psychic right. damage. Nah. So which one did you hit? Uh, the one in the oh, this one. All right. This one, because this one's kind of on her flank. <laughs> nah. Don't worry, flanking's not a thing in this game. It's true. It's technically I mean, an optional rule in the DMG, but I don't think Maddie's using it. I mean, it's like if it, given its turn, it's going to come and hit me. <laughs> Alrighty. Don't worry. don't worry, I got you. That's why you should have used your movement to stand behind the paladin. I am behind the paladin. No. Yeah, there is another one on the There's other side. side of him. Yeah. Mm, damn. That's what I Get am behind. over there for. Get behind the main. <laughs> <laughs> Either no. way, he can get attacked. I am the... I am the most brave and handsome warrior who hides cowardly behind women. That's how brave I am. I even well, that's what the my help blood. is for. <laughs> I'm so fun. brave. I'm willing to subject women to this. <laughs> anyway, who's I am a, a I I'm a firm believer in equal rights. All right, missed. Cosmo up in here. If women can serve, that means they can serve in my army. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move forward. I'm going to take a slash at this lizard here in front of me. Okay. Come on, I'm in the button. Why isn't it rolling? Uh, button just, could be just, more delayed than the actual, like, just slash Some roll. macros are dumb. I can't, none of my weapon macros work. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, it right, definitely hits. 23. Yeah. 20, 23. rather. Yeah. Uh, All right. So 10 damage. Ten damage. You lob a fucking arm off again. <laughs> Damn. Man, why don't you just, like, take a chill pill? After I take a swing, I'm gonna hunker down and raise my shield up ready for anything to come back. Okay. Ha- Half-starred the-, the arm lobber. The lizards. The lizards. They approach. Uh, do enemies get advantage on attacking someone if two people attack? Two enemies attacking the same target? Uh, I no. believe the way it works... Uh, no, you don't gain advantage. In that. I think it... It's weird because the way rogue sneak attack work, you can gain sneak attack dice, but I think it specifically states you don't gain advantage from it. If you yeah. use the flanking as an optional rule, I believe you do get advantage from it, though. Alrighty, so these guys yeah, attack. Maybe. Going for the part! Or maybe the fucking other person. I can't tell. Oh... Who are they going for? Uh, first, the two near you are attacking. Oh, me? Alright, yeah. so they have disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Oh! Okay, I saw the they 20 got scared for a second. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll roll the other one. Oof! 12. That's uh, plus 4, 16. Still messes up. My AC is 17. Okay, they both swing and they miss. And so now the one's coming down against the... He did not like that mockery. He's pretty mm-hmm. upset about it. He, he, he did not like be, being being called called the scaly. He has disadvantage, though, still. A, a, a gross slime lizard. Yeah, vicious <laughs> yeah, mockery. Yeah, that's what vicious disadvantage. mockery does. Oh, yeah, disadvantage. it does. Does a little bit of damage, oh, but yeah, that's right. Disadvantage. I forgot. No. Nope. 13. Yeah. I have an armor class of 14. Damn it. And this is, this is a group of barely missing. <laughs> they're, they're swinging. They're swinging, but they're missing. No, and, uh, I missed. The armless guy is going in a halberd strike. Alrighty. And I fired, and I missed. And I fired. <laughs> and Jackie Jen deflected it with his fist. <laughs> 13 hit? 
Uh, an AC of 18. Jesus Christ. With my shield, I, at least I do. Yeah, you just boom, you fucking parry it, it the does fucking five thing damage away. To him. Oh, yeah, he does. Uh, if it hits, does that count as a hit? D- that depends. What is your AC with your armor? AC with armor 16. I don't even think he fucking hits. Okay. No, it's none of it is oh, yeah. from dexterity. So technically, yeah, sorry. It's all. What's what's your AC without armor? No armor is eleven. Okay, so your armor is what saves you here. So yeah, yeah he technically hits, but he doesn't. Yeah, for the most he hits part, hits and it... does no damage. Yeah, it's, it's all the same effect. It's just mostly how you want to describe how you got a did not get damaged. <laughs> does that mean it? Does the ice happen then? It's based on you, if you want to say it like that. Yeah, I'm going to say that. All right, so five cold damage. It, you, it freezes over his stump limp. Yeah, he, he sealed up the wound, not bleeding anymore. Mm-hmm. And, he, and he screams in pain from the frostbite. I mean, he's not bleeding anymore, he should be happy. <laughs> it is now Lillian's turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, um, how is that person? How is what? How armored uh, is Scott? Pretty armored. From what I know. Pretty. I think he has 17 AC. Yeah, but like, like how armor? Scott? On, to, on a scale of scale mail to freaking plate mail, what is he? Scott? Oh, you're talking about me? Yes. Oh, sorry, I zoned. I was writing something down. Uh, uh, half plate. Okay, that's, uh, does he have a shield? Uh, no, I have a ring of protection. Mm, I wouldn't be able to know that. I attack this one with a combat oh, okay. card. I, I was writing a combat card of that one, yeah. That's okay, I was it. writing things down. Sorry. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at these eights! Crazy eights up in here! Yeah, this one goes right into the throat of the thing. Let me do the math. Th- if you rolled your minimum damage, one, that'd be down to minus two, plus seven. So your minimum damage is like five? Five. Yeah. He's, he's just fucking pissing blood out of his neck. Man, this guy sucks. He got pommeled with a cross scar. <laughs> and he got a card in his neck. He's getting attacked with the most unlikely things to be worried about. <laughs> Stop. Sucks to be uh, that guy. He looks at you guys, he just goes, at this party dynamic, they'll never survive the f- javelin. <laughs> ow, ow, cards, no! <laughs> Stop! Not the javelins. Never Is that your turn, Smooth? Or are you doing anything yes. else? That's they'll never turn. survive the breeding okay. room. Shine Spark, it's your turn. Alright, so this one's down. Is that, yeah. is that one down there a thing? Yes. This one's yeah. alive. It yeah. has been hit this twice and is missing an arm. It's going for this one. Okay. Because it's an immediate <laughs> threat to the nobility. <laughs> and the squishy people. Yeah. Like the nobility. Actually, no, not the nobility. I am nobility and I am not squishy, thank you. Well, I, I'm actually not that squishy either. Alright, that hits. Modified 20, so 6 oh. damage. Oof. Yeah, you, you, you finally... You connect and you ram your spear right through his shoulder, severing like the usefulness of his arm at that point. And he kind of stumbles over and he looks up to you as you return to visibility. All I can picture is tiny, angry Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Whenever I think of players, I imagine it being them. a tiny in Dragoon Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the ex. Gosh dang it, Medi, he made my exact character from freaking that one Pathfinder thing we didn't actually do. Yep. I, I, I thought Except about mine that. The scythe, and it was a and it was a very bad homebrew class. Oh, tiny scythe, that sounds adorable. Alrighty. It's now Steve Monster's turn. Steve, Steve finish him off! Uh, I, I, mm. I guess. I mean, okay, if her picture like wasn't job. something drawn by me, it probably would have been adorable. I but guess, boss. Art. Okay, boss, whatever. Uh, he connects! <laughs> 14! 
Six damage. Nice. Did he finish it off? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it, but he did, at these he did fully sever that shoulder hanging like by a so like by a sliver of fucking bone and muscle. That's his turn. I'm <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna raise your pay grade for this. Let's see. Now you get a whole thing for the day. We have many on multiple sides. I wanna go for uh his, this schmuck. Can you make it there? Uh I think so. One, two, three. How do I? Where do I check my movement? Uh, you have thirty feet. Yeah, thirty feet. So that's good. Which yeah, is six good. tiles. Yeah, six tiles is thirty feet. Yeah, All you right, can make it there. Let's just. Uh, you can make it. Stab, stab, stab. And Nineteen. he's dead. <laughs> All right, finally taking two of them out. I like that. The, I like that the rogue just keeps up things. <laughs> the the everyone is wailing on. And they're to be dead. fair, you gave. You gave. You, <laughs> That is a that is a really powerful dagger. The rogue. That is extremely powerful. You, you know, yeah. you may have quit the life of thievery, but you're still kill. You're still stealing these kills. <laughs> Damn it! All this effort I put into it. Yeah, I like to imagine like in, in that like one? six second, or I guess this is like yeah, it's about six seconds. If yeah, I'm... this is round two, so we're about six. six seconds. Just casually throws dagger fight. over shoulder, lobbing off an arm. The thing brings its stump and arm, or its stump and regular arm down. It gets bounced. His regular arm gets bounced away. His stump freezes over, and then you just run up and you just ram the dagger through his chest, and he falls backwards dead. Nine seconds have passed, lizard man. <laughs> I actually can learn stop time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. It when eventually. does Mad Woman be stopped? At like I can learn stop time at level nine. It is Scott's turn. Blade. All right. Scott, realizing his mistake, uh, looks down to the the sword hilt in his hand. It was like, oh yeah. And then he focuses as a sh beam of light emerges from the sword hilt. <laughs> oh, is he playing Jedi? <laughs> A beam of radiant energy emerges out of the sword hill. That it's looks a lot better. It's a non-trademarked energy sword. <laughs> and that was my bonus action, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to hit him with my magical sword. Okay. So uh, plus. That hits. Yep, and roll the damage since I'm one handing it to D8. And now the hand axe. Plus six damage? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, I forgot. I forgot about my duelist. I haven't been calculating the plus two to my damage. Though. It's a finesse weapon, and it also acts as a plus two weapon. All right. I think I'm not. And it does radiant damage. And now for the disadvantage, that'll be disadvantage uh, 16. Yeah, it hits. It hits. And... So, He's dead. 15 damage. You slice through his... Ch you slice him open, and as he falls back, he he looks like he's, like, po playing possum, and you get in close, and he goes for the lunge, and you just axe in the middle of the head. Nice. And he falls. I realize He realized he didn't have his uh, sword activated. Ah. <laughs> oh. Tell this guy up here, though. Eh, don't worry about it. Okay, now it's uh, my turn, correct? Yes. Okay. The move well, of I'm the gonna, nobility. I'm gonna move back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Pull the retreat! Yeah, it, well... Well, uh, I'm gonna... Hmm. Well, this is honestly... For something that's not made for you guys, this encounter is not changed from the original module. <laughs> no, oh. Five mm -hmm. Lizardmen is not meant to be a lot. You're handling this pretty well. Well, um, well, He's a man. No, well, well, now I'm just gonna take take a pot shot on with the crossbow there. Oh, yeah, he's oh. fucking dead. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, By taking a pot shot, you just rip his entire fucking head off when it, when the <laughs> bolt leases and just takes it with him. So that's let's. You, you get. 
two d tens on a crit. Yeah, so that's what twenty. Uh, I mean, twenty five damage. That just ripped his head off. That is beyond overkill. <laughs> well, there he goes. And there he goes. You, you, like three seconds later, hear like a tank of the fucking bolt hitting a wall inside the cave. And the body just falls lifeless to the ground. That that sends him in a negative 13 HP. <laughs> there he goes. This head empty. Yeet! Yeet! There, 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 is, there is no head. Like... Just... Holy shit. That this was... Lizardman had no chance. Alright, last lizard man. There How's we go. There's, there's nothing left now. It is Black Prince's turn. Nice. Uh, I don't think I can get close enough in this turn. I don't think I can. No. Yeah, no, there's, there's no way. That's fine. I'm just going to move over here. Try to keep guard, protect you guys. I can make it. Oh, yeah, I and end my turn. Thank you. No, you, can, you have a fly speed of 30. Oh, okay. I can make it! <laughs> Alrighty. It is the final lizard man's turn. And what's he how, gonna do? How, how does he react to just? What's he, how does he feel about my holy blade? <laughs> uh he retreats into the cave. <laughs> coward, <laughs> bitch! Run, run, coward! Get back here, coward! You hear the scurrying of a lizard man as he crawls his way into the mouth of the. Cave. The blood of the eviscerated other lizard men have quenched the the hunger, blood for the blood god taste of the dragon mouth. And it slowly opens, letting out a pungent odor into the area, but it slowly dissipates, and you guys can enter inside the temple. Told you Gabe was alive. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, uh, I get my cards. From the blood, and, uh... Some of them are really gross. I clean them. <laughs> Alrighty. So you guys have made it past section A. Oh, man. So did you make this module, or was it something a friend wrote, or is it out of a book? This is out of a book right now. Well, module, Which, means okay. that, module means that it was out of a book, usually. But I have modified it to a certain degree to fix it up. Because, uh... Was it not great? No, because no. it was high, too high level for us. It was really high level, yeah. It was for level <laughs> 5 characters. And, uh, 5 through 7. And a wonderful uh, stopping place, because I gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Gotta Alrighty, go. so yes, you guys have made it inside the mouth of the dragon. I almost asked, what's the karma? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was jokingly going to ask, so what's, se so what's our session karma today? <laughs> well, actually... Oh. Everyone gains... Uh... Bonus experience points. It's not karma. <laughs> I'm gonna say... Because I fuck, fuck doing math on experience points. Everyone has half a level. Okay. Neat. All right. I'll just write 50 and treat it like uh, Paper Mario, where you just level up when you hit 100. Yeah. Okay. All righty. So, how did you guys feel about your first session? I, know. I had a lot of fun. I'm, mm -hmm. I find a D&D &D game that doesn't suck. <laughs> I, I'm liking it so far. I just feel like I need... Sure. You need what? Uh, I had to decide if I'm playing this like the soldier or the scout. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun just building up to my actual weapon. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to keep on changing what, cla what TF2 class I play. By the end. I, I was really glad fun I was actually able to get my persuasion and intimidation rolls off. Yeah, you guys have really fun characters. I had a lot of fun. I like, got to arrest a criminal. <laughs> the specific thing I was building up for was basically what uh, Miss said of like, what class are you playing? I would like it to not be known. <laughs> like, I like making it hard to tell. All right. Okay. I need to find out How what the I... hell my crit damage is for my longsword, though. It's... How did I it's do? Times two. Because I don't know D. I, bro, I put in I times two and it didn't good. Good. work. Well, well, we'll write down the dice. Like the dice. Everyone mode. seemed to do good for their characters. All right. Especially, especially your character who just walked up and stabbed everything to death. 
<laughs> well, you know, that's just as, being, a, that, as that's a, just, a shitty rogue should do. That's just what rogues do. That's what all of them yeah, do. Yeah, it's, it's true. That's all, that's I still rogue. haven't used any of like I still have not used any of my spell blade powers outside of that one and enchanted I have, stab. I have, because no one's taken any damage. I haven't really used any of my powers at all either. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, fire have way higher, animation. you guys have way higher AC than I remember. <laughs> I was, like, worried that these things would be hitting you non-stop. Motherfuckers don't have a chance. That's oh, yeah. I with armor for my take a, item. So take a guess what my AC is as the rogue. How much? 16. <laughs> That's oh, pretty good. Easy. I do have the highest AC still. <laughs> I got an What's AC. your AC? 18. I can I reach 18. 18. I have 18. Team with a shield. Let me let me let me post this image. I only have fourteen. <laughs> I'm completely unarmored. Cool. I like how during this entire session we got to th pass the first page of the module. <laughs> <laughs> how many pages is the module? It wasn't even that was half a page, honestly, because half the pig picture or page is a picture. Oh no! Bum, bum, bum. I can reach eighteen AC if I. Like the it. module itself is only 10 pages, and once oh, okay. the ball gets rolling, then it's dungeon, dungeon, explore, dungeon. Mm -hmm. Sure. But, I uh, like this. I had a lot of I'm fun. I'm excited for more character role-playing, though. These characters are a lot of fun. Yeah, I think oh, everyone fun. has a pretty good party dynamic. I hope I... Yeah. My... <laughs> I appreciate having weeks to alternate now. A lot of, uh, a lot of nobility for Shine Spark to... First of all, I'm a bastard. Over. I'm not really nobility. A lot of nobility to not care about. <laughs> you guys are cool. Wow. I, you guys are cool. I hope you live because you'll be really nice allies in the long run. But if you die, that kind of sucks. Sorry. Yeah, I need you guys to stay alive for my inevitable war. Yeah, that that pretty much like the inevitable. Like, hey, I need people I can call if I get in trouble wait, wait, after wait, wait, retirement. Wait, 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 war. Inevitable conquest. I'll get to I'll get to take part in a war. If you want to, if you want to join, yes, I need soldiers. Yes. I like sure. to imagine that you guys set up campfire in the mouth of the. <laughs> I am I mean, cooking everyone's need, meals and stuff. If you need a spy, I'll work for you. Just pay well, I guess. Scamble Maid has a lot of food stuff and cooking. But now I that leave. I know that in hindsight we're going to be traveling the globe. Oh boy, we got to go to Atlas eventually. Oh dear. I want to, I want to go to war. I want to lead a platoon. I want to lead I am, a platoon. Going to Titan is going to be interesting for my character. Lillian looks toward the camera as she's making food. Well, I thank you for following us on this first episode of our journey. Would you Join like us to save next the time game? in two weeks when we come back and? Who are you talking to? Shh, it's the viewers. Winks. Would you like to save the game? Yes, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys like the first uh, session of Goemon's Epic Adventure. Right, <laughs> it it cuts, it's just the Fresh Meat Party uh, playing D&D. Fresh &D. Party playing, yeah. Uh, <laughs> see ya. Bye, My character is not clearly defined. <laughs> so am I good to cut the stream? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Bye!